Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Villain. The sky swallowing magic skill at the beginning was upgraded too quickly. Chapter 41. That's good, thank you husband. Zhao Xiao said happily. Fool, you are getting stronger and stronger, and the stronger your ability to protect yourself, the more helpful you will be to me. Chen Yi said. Chen Yi understands that Yi Yan, Zhao Xiao, and Master Su Xiaonan are all his weaknesses, so Chen Yi naturally hopes that they will become stronger as they practice. I will definitely practice hard, and I feel that my physique has changed. In the future, I will practice faster and get twice the result with half the effort. Zhao Xiao said confidently. There is no need to rush to practice now. After a few times, we may be able to help you break through the realm of refining the void. When the time comes, it will not be too late for you to practice harder. Chen Yi explained. Okay, I will listen to my husband. Zhao Xiao nodded shyly. Then you stay here and have a good rest, I'm going out. Husband, where are you going? Zhao Xiao looked worried. Don't worry, it's not just leaving the academy to practice. Oh, Zhao Xiao nodded, no longer worried. Chen Yi didn't think much and left the mental restriction. But Chen Yi just showed up. The dean immediately came to Chen Yi. Greetings to the dean, Chen Yi said respectfully. Follow me. After the dean said, he left in the air. Chen Yi flew over with his sword, exuding aura that was the perfect state of nascent soul. After all, Chen Yi got Zhao Xiao, and if he didn't radiate the perfect realm of nascent soul, others would think it was unreasonable. Two minutes later, Chen Yi came to the dean's palace. This is on top of a mountain peak. Except for Chen Yi and the dean, there are only two people here. This time, the dean arranged a powerful mental restriction to isolate him from prying eyes. Chen Yi looked confused, what the hell is the mental power restriction? Here at Shan Yu Peak, Su Xiaonan frowned. Why did the dean suddenly ask Chen Yi? Su Xiaonan instinctively felt that something was unusual. But she couldn't stop anything. Now she was more curious about Zhao Xiao's breakthrough and immediately came to the door of the attic. Zhao Xiao opened the mental power restriction, and Su Xiaonan came inside. Meet the master. What level of cultivation do you have now? Su Xiaonan looked curious. Early stage of becoming a god. Zhao Xiao said. Zhao Xiao didn't dare to say anything about the late stage of divine transformation. It was too outrageous. It would be better to be at a lower level. What? Transformation of gods. Does the pure Yang holy body help so much? Su Xiaonan said in shock. Breaking through from nascent soul to becoming a god is a breakthrough of a great level. Yes, master, junior brother is really helpful. This kind of breakthrough is really enviable. Su Xiaonan said with envy. Master, my junior brother will become a fusion, Mahayana, maybe I can help you. Zhao Xiao said with a smile. You are such a fool, how can you say such a thing? Does he also have thoughts about me? I think it's almost the same. Junior brother likes people who look stunning. All men like it, not just your junior brother. Anyone who says he doesn't like it is just hypocritical, boring, and prude. Su Xiaonan replied. Then master, will you fall in love with Chen Yi? I think too much. No one likes this kind of scumbag. After Su Xiaonan finished speaking, she left angrily. Zhao Xiao showed a smile. Under her charming face, there was a hint of certainty. She felt that even if Su Xiaonan didn't like Chen Yi, she wouldn't hate Chen Yi. Now that Chen Yi possesses the pure Yang holy body, he might be attracted to Su Xiaonan. After all, who doesn't like to break through the fusion, the Mahayana, and even pursue the tribulation? Of course, Zhao Xiao was just guessing. Inside the hall of the dean's palace. The dean has already made tea. Chen Yi couldn't help but said, Master Dean, what can I do? Chen Yi, I want to enlighten you and help you break through to become a god. What do you think? Of course, Chen Yi nodded, although he didn't know why the dean wanted to give him the enlightenment, but he had perfected his cultivation and attained enlightenment, so he didn't want it in vain. Okay, you sit down cross-legged, and then I will transfer my cultivation to you. Okay, Chen Yi said and sat down cross-legged. The dean showed an evil smile, and then a force gathered into Chen Yi's body. Chen Yi felt very comfortable. He was indeed enlightened and tried his best to help himself. However, Chen Yi was still vigilant. There should be no such good things in the world. An hour later, in order to cooperate with the dean, 
Chen Yi exuded the aura of the middle stage of divine transformation, making the dean think that he had broken through and reached the middle stage of divine transformation. Yes, only those who are in the middle stage of spiritual transformation at the age of 18 are worthy of letting me seize the body. After the dean said excitedly, he transformed into a soul and rushed into Chen Yi's mind. But Chen Yi has no mental space in his mind. Chen Yi's mental space has combined with his physical body and realm energy to form a three-core Dantian. How is this possible? You don't have any mental space. You don't have any mental space. Master Dean, I respect you so much, but you want to take away my life. This is not good, Chen Yi said unhappily. Chen Yi, the weak prey on the strong. If I seize your body, I will naturally let you break through the fusion. At that time, everyone will only remember you, Chen Yi, and you will gain both fame and wealth. It's a pity, I don't need it. Chen Yi said, powerful spiritual energy surged out and wrapped around the Dean's soul. The Dean's soul strength has reached half step of refining the void. Facing the Yuan Shen in the realm of refining the void, he was not an opponent at the same level at all, and was directly wrapped up by Chen Yi's mental power. The Dean felt how powerful Chen Yi was, and said with fear and shock, you are so powerful. You are not a god, you are a refiner, or even a fusion. You destroyed the Su family before, and the Ji Yu family was all yours. Master Dean, I know so clearly that I still have to die. Anyone who wants to kill me will die. Chen Yi said coldly. Chen Yi, you can't kill me. If you kill me, what will everyone in the college think of you? You deceived the teacher and destroyed the ancestors. Also, the Supreme Elder will definitely kill you when he comes back. Chen Yi didn't answer, and kept refining the power of his soul with his exercises. Two minutes later, Chen Yi absorbed the energy of the soul, and his mental power reached the early and late stages of refining the void, and his mental power improved a little. Of course I won't bear the title of bullying my master and destroying my ancestors. I have the puppet magic. I'm sorry, you will be my puppet from now on. Chen Yi said and sat down cross-legged. Then Chen Yi ran the formula of the puppet magic and began to refine the puppet. Half a day later, the bones were successfully refined into puppets. Although the soul is missing, the physical strength of the half-step combination is preserved. But this puppet has little room for improvement, and will only have half-step strength in its lifetime. Meet the master, the dean said respectfully. Chen Yi gave him a hint of soul, so he could understand other people's words and speech, but nothing else changed. From now on you will be a puppet, the dean in the eyes of outsiders. Yes, master, back off. Yes, master. After the dean said, he respectfully withdrew. After the puppet retreated, the system sent a reminder. Ding, if you successfully kill the enemy, you will be rewarded with a bottle of 7th grade Tianshu pill, 10 pills in a bottle. Note, Tianshu pill can help Lianshu unconditionally break through a small realm, and it is of great help to the cultivation of the body. Taking 10 pills may be able to break through a small realm. This reward is not bad, Chen Yi said with satisfaction. But when I use it to break through, it's overkill. My breakthrough requires a huge amount of energy. I can just leave these pills to my woman, master, and dad. Let's enhance our ability to protect ourselves first, Chen Yi said, taking out the high-grade spirit armor, then dripping blood to recognize its master, and fused it into the body. An hour later, Chen Yi's fusion was successful, and combined with a hundred times the defense power, Chen Yi's defense power was greatly reduced and could no longer threaten him. Next, kill all the enemies and get rewards, Chen Yi said, and a perfectly integrated puppet appeared in his mind. Meet the master, the puppet said respectfully, you will be the second puppet from now on. Yes, master, Chen Yi sensed with his mental power that Puppet 2 could only be used for 5 minutes, and all puppets were in their initial state for 5 minutes. 5 minutes is enough, and you don't even need to take action. Chen Yi said, put on a mask, put on a black robe, and left here strangely. Chen Yi has nothing more to say, let's kill the deputy dean first. Hao Yan and Xu Tian, the son of luck, lined up first. The vice president is here. At this moment, the vice president's mental power continues to spread out to prevent danger. He was too scared. The Ju family and the Su family were being exterminated one after another, and he should be the next one. Just in case, Puppet 1, you keep an eye on Xu Tian, Puppet 2, if you keep an eye on Hao Yan, 
If you dare to leave, we will kill you without mercy and leave no one behind. It's the master. After the two puppets finished speaking, they also left the dean's palace and put on black robes to hide their aura. Kill. After Chen Yi finished speaking, he immediately killed the vice president. Until we reached a distance of 10 meters. The deputy dean finally noticed it and immediately took out a shield to block Chen Yi. It's a pity that Chen Yi killed him with his low-grade spirit sword. The vice dean was directly killed and his shield was destroyed. Kill the deputy dean instantly with one move. The system also sent a reminder. Ding, you successfully killed the enemy. Congratulations to the host for getting a low-grade bamboo spirit sword. It seems that the reward for killing and refining the virtual world is just that, but it's not bad. It can be exchanged for resources anyway. Chen Yi doesn't mind that it is a low-grade spiritual weapon at all. If you take it to the auction house, you can get huge resources, or give it to the woman around you. Can, however, Chen Yi unexpectedly killed the vice president. Many Li and Shu in the academy were dispatched one after another. The major peak masters, hidden Li and Shu and god transformers came over one after another to kill him. Although the vice president has a bad character, he is still the vice president of the college. If someone kills the vice president here, they cannot sit still and wait for death. Chen Yi disdained to pay attention to these people, and after collecting the vice dean's body, he disappeared in an instant. Chen Yi's combined speed, instant movement, and weird phantom steps came and went without a trace, making it impossible to catch up. How is this possible? Everyone saw Chen Yi disappearing with fear on their faces. Chen Yi disappeared unexpectedly. Doesn't this mean that Chen Yi's speed has reached the level of integration? Why didn't the dean show up? Everyone immediately thought of the dean. Only the dean and the deputy dean can control the power of the formation. For a time, I had no backbone at all. Xu Tian's palace is here. Xu Tian's face was ugly. He had already broken through to the middle stage of becoming a god. He noticed the vice dean's death and felt a burst of fear and anger in his heart. Why am I so heartbroken over the death of the vice dean? Why is there such a strong man chasing us? Does everything have to do with Chen Yi? If so, what kind of freak have I provoked? Xu Tian looked ugly. He doesn't want to die, really doesn't want to die. Chen Yi, you can't kill me. I still have the space teleportation talisman left by the deputy dean. Xu Tian immediately crushed the space teleportation talisman and fled thousands of miles away. When Chen Yi came to Xu Tian, Xu Tian had turned into a meteor and disappeared. Chen Yi frowned, is this the power of the son of destiny? Every time there is a life and death crisis, someone will protect him. Ding, the system prompts that the aura of the son of luck is ineffective in front of the host. Once it hinders all means, it can be killed. In other words, I predicted in advance that he would be able to teleport through space, and arrange the ability to prevent the son of luck from teleporting through space, so I could kill him. Chen Yi understood what. But who knows what the son of luck can do. Chen Yi was speechless, and finally set foot at Hao Yan. Hao Yan was flying with his sword at this moment, heading towards the dean's palace at high speed, looking for shelter. Hao Yan feels that only the dean can save him now. Hao Yan, what do you want from me? The dean said calmly. Sir Dean, someone has killed the deputy dean. It may be a powerful fusion. Please activate the formation. I understand. The dean smiled and immediately placed a cultivation restriction. At the same time, Chen Yi came here and arranged a mental power restriction for double protection. This time, let me see how you escape. Chen Yi said, stepping into the dean's palace. At the same time, the academy's void refining and transformation gods gathered one after another, but no one dared to take a step. After all, it is a terrifying existence that can instantly kill the vice dean. Hao Yan, no one can save you this time. Chen Yi stepped in front of Hao Yan and slapped him away. Hao Yan is like garbage in front of Chen Yi. Why, who are you? Why do you want to kill me? Then why did you kill Chen Yi? Chen Yi asked back. I, Hao Yan was about to cry but had no tears. Yes, he also wanted to kill Chen Yi, and it seemed reasonable for others to want to kill him. Death, Chen Yi showed no mercy, his combined strength exploded, and he killed Hao Yan with one sword. Hao Yan was suppressed by Chen Yi's aura and could not move at all. Finally, a sword pierced his heart. However, the system has no beeps. 
Hao Yan was not completely killed. This isn't even dead. It should be some kind of a mortal body. Then I'll kill you like this. Chen Yi sat down and refined the bones. Soon, Hao Yan disappeared into ashes. The system also sent a reminder. Ding, successfully killed Hao Yan, the son of destiny. Ding, congratulations to the host for gaining half of the cultivation of Hao Yan, the son of destiny. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the killing holy body. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the nine nether divine steps. Next, Chen Yi's aura rose slightly. Hao Yan was too weak, and half of his cultivation level had not improved. Then there is the killing of the holy body, which basically allows Chen Yi to gain twice the combat power, and then continue to kill to gain more powerful combat power, there is no limit. It can be said that it is most dangerous to encounter people who kill the holy body, because they don't know what kind of fighting power they can unleash. Finally, there is the Nine Nether Divine Steps, which is more advanced than the Phantom Divine Steps and is a body technique practiced by powerful Mahayana warriors. Not bad, the reward for the Son of Luck is also very good. Chen Yi said with great satisfaction. Then there's only one last person left. After Chen Yi finished speaking, he stepped into Xu Tian's attic again. All the strong men of Qingsheng Academy looked at Chen Yi, and they were all helpless. Without the combined strength, Chen Yi was just rubbish. Whoever goes up will die. Su Xiaonan is also worried here. If it's Chen Yi's helper, that's fine. If not, she won't be able to resist if he attacks her. At the same time, many people have fled the college. There is no way, but Chen Yi is here, it is too scary. Elder Supreme, where are you? Qin Zhen sighed, longing for the Supreme Elder to come, because the Supreme Elder reached the state of integration 20 years ago. Many people also sent messages to the Supreme Elder, hoping that the Supreme Elder would be in the academy. Everyone, there is no need to be nervous. After I kill Yi Qinchen, I will naturally leave. Qingsheng College will still be Qingsheng College. After Chen Yi finished speaking, he stepped in front of Yi Qinchen. Yi Qinchen looked at Chen Yi in fear and said, My lord, I was wrong. I didn't know the heights of the sky. I regret the sneak attack on Chen Yi. Please let me live. Do you think it's possible? Chen Yi said disdainfully. I can do anything for you, I can do anything, I am very obedient, I will definitely. Chen Yi didn't listen to Yi Qinchen's words and directly killed Yi Qinchen with one sword. The system alerted you at this time. Ding, kill the enemy Yi Qinchen, and you will be rewarded with a top-notch treasure, the Bamboo Spirit Sword. It's okay. After Chen Yi finished speaking, he disappeared immediately. At the same time, a figure crossed the space very quickly, and ten seconds later, it arrived at Qingsheng Academy. The person who came was a middle-aged man in white, and his aura had reached the late stage of integration. Meet the Supreme Elder. Meet the Supreme Elder. Many strong men and disciples in the academy said excitedly that the Supreme Elder has arrived and Qingsheng Academy can be saved. What's going on? What happened at Qingsheng Academy? The middle-aged man in white looked confused. Because I have been receiving requests for help from powerful people in the academy, I had no choice but to come. There is a strong man who has combined to kill the vice president, also killed the holy son Hao Yan, and now he has killed Yi Qinchen. Everyone said one after another. Just kill these three people. Because these three people want to kill Chen Yi, Chen Yi invited help, that's what it should be. Everyone said one after another. Who is Chen Yi? The genius of the academy can also be called the Holy Sun, the 18-year-old nascent soul realm. Su Xiaonan said. What kind of thing is this? How can I judge who is right and who is wrong? The Supreme Elder was speechless. Others also looked helpless. These people wanted to kill Chen Yi at first, but now they have fallen. They really brought it upon themselves. Where is Chen Yi? The middle-aged man in white asked. At this time, Chen Yi flew from the Dean's palace with a sword and the dean. Meet the supreme elder. The two said respectfully. How do you know the powerful fusion man? Is he an elder of your family? Ask the supreme elder. No, I don't know him at all. I guess he felt uncomfortable with me being hunted, so he helped me get revenge. Chen Yi said. You kid, there's no need to hide anything from me. You just did it. I won't do anything to you. The weak prey on the strong. It's their own fault. But if it's a murder without reason, I will kill you. Taishang Elder said. 
I really didn't do it, and I'm very confused. Forget it, I will be in charge of the academy next, so everyone can feel at ease. After the elder Taishang finished speaking, he disappeared immediately. After all, the supreme elder came from the academy, and he didn't want anyone to destroy the academy. Chen Yi looked calm and returned to Shan Yu Peak. None of the others knew what to do and finally left one after another. With the supreme elder sitting in charge, I feel more at ease. Su Xiaonan immediately came to Shan Yu Peak, blocked Chen Yi, and then pulled Chen Yi into his attic. Chen Yi felt Su Xiaonan's extremely soft hand, which was quite good. Who is this masked man in black robe? Su Xiaonan asked. I met a strong man by chance. Chen Yi explained. Why would such a strong person help you kill the deputy dean and others? I did him a favor. This kind of strong man can get your things just by killing you. Do you need to help you? Master, although what you said is right, he just agreed to help me kill people. I can't see through you more and more. Master, why do you see through me? I am becoming more and more mysterious. Isn't it great? Yes, who made you my apprentice? The stronger you become, the happier I will be. Su Xiaonan nodded, feeling that Chen Yi was right. Master, you are so beautiful. Chen Yi said seriously. You fool, leave quickly. After Su Xiaonan said that, she immediately entered the room and blocked everything with her mental power. Chen Yi, Chen Yi came to Yi Yan's attic this time. Because Yi Yan's mental power was arranged in the attic, she had been practicing in seclusion, so she didn't know what was going on outside. After Chen Yi arrived here, a force tore through the mental restriction and walked inside. Yi Yan woke up from seclusion and felt relieved after sensing Chen Yi with her mental power. Husband, why are you scaring me? If you want to come to me, just send a message to me. Yi Yan came to Chen Yi and said with a pout. No, husband, why are you becoming more and more handsome? Yi Yan said in surprise, Chen Yi seemed to have become more handsome. None of these are important. Vice President, Hao Yan, and Yi Qinchen are dead. Only Xu Tian is left to escape, which is useless. Chen Yi explained. Ah, who killed him? Yi Yan said in shock. It's not important either. Next, I will help you break through to become a god. You don't need to practice hard and practice in seclusion. I hate it. It's so easy to break through there. It probably takes several times to break through. Yi Yan said shyly. No, it can be broken through in one go. It's very easy to break through. Why? Yi Yan was confused. If you want to know, try it and you will know. Chen Yi said and picked up Yi Yan. Husband, if you come here like this in broad daylight, aren't you letting people know our identities? What are you afraid of? Everyone is afraid of me now and wants to stay away from me, so no one will dare to say anything. Well, I'm relieved to have a husband. Yi Yan said happily, and she was looking forward to it. Yi Yan likes Chen Yi very much, very much, and of course she is happy to do anything with Chen Yi. Time flies. Five hours later, Yi Yan's aura has risen to the early stage of becoming a god, crossing a great realm. At this moment, she is extremely excited and happy. The breakthrough was too fast, and the breakthrough came to Washin. The 26-year-old Washin belonged to the ranks of geniuses. Husband, I am so happy to have you. Yi Yan hugged Chen Yi and said excitedly. Yi Yan's favorability score also climbed to 95 at this moment. Ding, it is detected that the favorability of Yi Yan, the daughter of luck, has exceeded 95, and she will be rewarded with the ancient divine fist. Remarks, the practice of the ancient divine fist has reached perfection, making you invincible under the tribulation. Gods can kill gods when they block them, and Buddhas when they block Buddhas. This ancient divine fist is pretty good, Chen Yi secretly said excitedly. After all, he practiced martial arts as fast as lightning. The more powerful martial arts he had, the stronger he became. Then Chen Yi pinched Yi Yan's cheek and said, The performance is good, I am very satisfied. Hate, these are for you, Chen Yi said, taking out a top-grade treasure armor and a low-grade spiritual weapon, the bamboo spirit sword. Husband, is this a spiritual sword? Yi Yan stood up and said in shock. Good, husband, you are so good to me. Yi Yan said movedly, and then kissed Chen Yi. You are my woman, so I will naturally love you. No, husband, please give it to me. Do you still have the spiritual weapon? Of course there are spiritual weapons. Chen Yi said, 
taking out the middle grade spiritual sword. That's good, Yi Yan said happily. Next, I will go back to practice in seclusion. Chen Yi said. No, you're not afraid of being found out, so can't you stay by my side? It's okay. Chen Yi nodded and simply stayed here to practice the ancient divine fist. Yi Yan also began to practice martial arts and body skills. Time flies. After night, a battle begins again. That's all. The cycle started over and over again after three days. Yi Yan's cultivation breakthrough reached the late stage of becoming a god, and her progress was rapid. Husband, please go back, I give up. Yi Yan said without tears. Yi Yan really likes Chen Yi to stay by her side, but she can't bear it anymore. I'll see you again in two days. Okay. Chen Yi didn't think much and went back to his attic. After Zhao Xiao saw Chen Yi coming back, she immediately ran to Chen Yi and said, Rogue, forget me when you have Yi Yan. Absolutely not, it was Yi Yan who wouldn't let me leave. Sister Yi Yan, too. Zhao Xiao still pouted. Next, I'll help you break through to the perfection of becoming a god, and even half step into emptiness. HMPH, in the name of letting me break through, it's actually for my beauty. Then I'll go find Yi Yan. No, Yi Yan is better off than me. How good are you? Don't you know? I forgot. HMPH, disgusting. You'll like this next. No way. But soon, Zhao Xiao fell in love. Time flies. Chen Yi also stayed here for three days. Zhao Xiao's cultivation level has reached the peak of half-step refining, and she is only one step away from breaking through the refining. Zhao Xiao also gave up. Chen Yi has also been practicing. This day, Yi Yan sent a message to Chen Yi and asked Chen Yi to go back to Yi's house with her. Chen Yi naturally agreed happily. At this time, Yi Yan flew to Shanyu Peak with her sword. Chen Yi flew to her side with his sword. Let's go, Yi Yan said happily. Good, the two of them also flew away with their swords. I'm so envious of Chen Yi. He has someone as good as Yi Yan. Ooh, I'm so envious. If I can have Yi Yan, this life is enough. Even once. A mortal moon peak, many disciples sighed. But everyone can only think about it. Yi family. There were a total of six people in the Yi family hall at this moment. The four elders of the Yi family have transformed into gods. Yi Shu, the head of the Yi family and Yi Yan's father, was in the early stage of Shu refining. Yi Yan's mother is in the early stage of becoming a god. The Yi family is also powerful. Not a moment, Chen Yi and Yi Yan quickly arrived at Yejia Square. The two did not walk in, but moved instantly. In the blink of an eye, we arrived at the Yi family hall. Teleportation, have you all broken through to become gods? The middle-aged man Yi Shu said in shock. The other five people also looked shocked. Washin, especially Chen Yi, was a 19-year-old Washin. His future achievements would be at least fusion, or even Mahayana. When they think of this, everyone feels extremely beautiful. Greetings to father, mother and four elders. Yi Yan said respectfully. I have met Uncle Yi, Aunt Yi, and the four elders of the Yi family. Chen Yi said with the same respect. After all, he is the father-in-law, mother-in-law, and Yi Yan's elder, so Chen Yi is very respectful. You're welcome, have you broken through to become a god? Yi Shu moved instantly and came to Yi Yan and said in surprise. Yes, I successfully broke through and reached the early stage of becoming a god. Yi Yan said respectfully. Yi Yan is now exuding the early stage of divine transformation and hiding her aura. Otherwise, everyone would be shocked if she showed the late stage of divine transformation. How is that possible? Didn't you just break through to nascent soul? Because of Chen Yi's help. Yi Yan explained. What, Chen Yi, what did you help? Yi Shu looked at Chen Yi in confusion. Because I am a pure Yang holy body, Chen Yi said. Chen Yi also understood that there was nothing he could hide. After all, the two women had made crazy breakthroughs in cultivation. If you take a closer look, you will understand. What? You are actually the holy body, the pure Yang holy body. Yi Shu said in shock. Good, no wonder, everything is explained. Yi Shu nodded, understanding what was going on. Heroes come out of young men. Yi Yan's mother sighed. The four elders also said, Tianzhao, a well-deserved Tianzhao. Uncle, aunt, and several elders have commended me. There is no reward at all. With the holy body, 
it is not impossible to become a strong person who can overcome the tribulation. Yi Shu said seriously, looking forward to Chen Yi's growth. Uncle Yi, will you object to me and Yi Yan being together? Of course I won't object. You are a holy body, a 19-year-old transformed god. A genius like you is rare in the world, so I naturally agree. Yi Shu affirmed. We have identified you. Others said one after another, approving that Yi Yan and Chen Yi were together. Chen Yi is worthy of Yi Yan. That's great Chen Yi, we can be together forever. Yi Yan said happily. Yi Yan is so happy, as long as her family doesn't object. Thank you for your agreement. I will definitely not let Yi Yan down. Okay, okay, with your words, we can rest assured. Uncle Yi, Auntie, these two pills are for you. Chen Yi said and took out two Tianshu pills. What kind of pill is this? Yi Shu looked confused. Tianshu Dan can help you break through a small realm and break through unconditionally. No matter how talented you are, you can break through. Chen Yi explained. What, isn't that very precious? Yi Shu said in shock. The value of this elixir is immeasurable. After all, you have worked hard to train Yi Yan. Now that Yi Yan is following me, she will naturally not treat those around her badly. Yi Yan did not see the wrong person, and we did not see the wrong person. Uncle, don't worry, I will become stronger and stronger in the future and will help the Yi family more. Chen Yi said again. Okay, okay, I hope you will do what you say. Must. Then father, mother, elder, we are going back. Yi Yan said. So anxious, aren't you going to stay for dinner? Yi Shu asked. We have all become gods and have become inedible. Well, you might as well practice hard. Yes, dad. Uncle Yi, Aunt Yi, elders, let's go back first. Chen Yi said respectfully. Yeah, remember to grow up. Good. Soon, the two returned to Shanyu Peak. This time, Yi Yan chose to stay in Chen Yi's attic with Zhao Xiao. Forget about Zhao Xiao. Yi Yan is here too, is Chen Yi going to live like an emperor? There are only three saints in the academy, and Chen Yi has two of them. It's so enviable. My goddess, the disciples of Shan Yu Peak are about to cry without tears. Good guy, good guy, what kind of top quality did this apprentice get? Su Xiaonan said speechlessly, her face turned extremely rosy when she thought of that scene. Sister Yi Yan, you are so beautiful. Zhao Xiao said happily after seeing Yi Yan. Sister Xiao has such a sweet mouth, and you are also very beautiful. Yi Yan said with a smile. Husband, who is the most beautiful among us? Zhao Xiao looked at Chen Yi. Yi Yan is also looking forward to looking at Chen Yi. Chen Yi looked at the two people's gazes, thinking that this was a proposition. Although Chen Yi knows that Yi Yan has a score of 95 and Zhao Xiao has a score of 96, he can't tell the truth. I think my woman is the most beautiful. Whoever is my woman is the most beautiful woman. Chen Yi said. TCH, you're glib and not honest at all. Zhao Xiao pouted. What, you want to fight? Chen Yi smiled charmingly. I won't talk about you anymore. Zhao Xiao pouted and ran to Yi Yan. The two women started chatting. Chen Yi likes this picture very much. Come to the side and start practicing the ancient divine fist. Time quickly came to the day before the competition. Chen Yi came out of Zhao Xiao's room. These days, Chen Yi changes rooms every day. Anyway, the rain and dew are all there. Finally, Zhao Xiao's cultivation level reached the early stage of void refining. Yi Yan broke through and reached the peak of becoming a god. Compared with Zhao Xiao, pure Yin holy physique has progressed too fast, and Yi Yan can't compare. Chen Yi has also practiced the ancient divine fist to the seventh fist these days. The ancient divine fist has a total of eight punches, each corresponding to a realm, and each punch is more powerful than the last. The comprehension of sword intention has reached the middle stage of the fifth level of sword intention. Juyu divine steps cultivation has reached the realm of Dachang. Ji Bingzan has reached the perfect state of cultivation. All in all, Chen Yi's strength is becoming more and more invincible and defying the heavens. Husband, tomorrow is the competition. By then we will definitely advance to the top 10 and go to participate in the Baiyuan competition, so I want to go out for a walk. Yi Yan came to Chen Yi and said. Of course, you can ask Xiao if she wants to go. Okay, I'm here. Xiao limped here at this time and rolled her eyes at Chen Yi. If it weren't for Chen Yi, 
she would have been able to walk normally. After having Chen Yi, she never walked normally again. How about you rest first? Chen Yi asked Zhao Xiao. No, I also want to go out for a walk and relax. Okay then, Chen Yi nodded and left with the two women flying swords. This time, Chen Yi and three others simultaneously exuded the aura of the early stage of divine transformation. Stop pretending, show your cards, and achieve divine transformation before the age of 30. The aura of the god transformation, the god transformation under the age of 30, is too strong. Within the sect, many transformed gods and Lian Shu sensed the auras of the three people and said in shock that they were hidden too deeply. How did Chen Yi practice so much that he became a god less than half a year after joining the inner court? Although Zhao Xiao is a pure yin saint, his level is so low, so he won't be of much help. Everyone was talking a lot, becoming more and more curious about Chen Yi and the other three, especially Chen Yi, who was simply extremely curious. Outside the college, on the street, after the three people arrived here, they started shopping, eating, drinking and having fun. Chen Yi was accompanying him. There was no provocation along the way, and then pretending to be slapped in the face, because the three of them were all transformed gods. The most important thing is that the man was Chen Yi, a killing god in the capital, because Chen Yi was one of the two major Lianshu families. Destroyed. Two hours later, the three of them were very lucky. Someone set off fireworks. There were many fireworks, which were beautiful. The three of them came to the best place to watch the fireworks and lined up side by side. The picture was very beautiful. The two women looked at Chen Yi at this time, and Zhao Xiao said, Husband, in fact, if you don't practice immortality, it's good to be ordinary like this. I feel the same way. Yi Yan said, Strength is the most important thing in this world, so one must cultivate immortality and one cannot be an ant. Otherwise, one day, monsters will besiege the city and the weak will not even have the right to choose to live. Chen Yi said, This seems to be the truth. Who makes this world a cruel world? Zhao Xiao and Yi Yan nodded, and the two women thought this was right. Don't think about it, let's go back early. Chen Yi looked at Yi Yan and said, No, if you want to go back, go back by yourself, I won't go back. Yi Yan said firmly, she was afraid of Chen Yi. Okay, Xiao, let's go back. I won't go back either. Then I'll go back first. Go back together, but don't even think about getting us. After the two women finished speaking, they immediately left with their swords flying. In this way, the three of them returned to Shanyu Peak. Chen Yi did not go inside, but set up a mental restriction, controlled the perfection puppet with his mind and hid it near Shanyu Peak, and then left here. Chen Yi wanted to try to see if he could kill the combined monsters in the Skyfire Mountain range. Once he could kill them and break through the realm, it would be too easy. But when Chen Yi just arrived at the city gate, he frowned, and when his mental power spread out, he found that many adventurers were escaping from the Skyfire Mountain range. The overwhelming monster beast swept over and rushed towards the city. This is a wave of monsters that want to destroy the capital. Chen Yi came to the city and said condescendingly. Then the powerful men from the city lord's mansion appeared one after another. One by one, they saw the monsters rushing towards them from a distance, with ugly expressions on their faces. Zhao Xiao immediately sent a message. For a time, powerful people from the Imperial Palace, Qingsheng Academy, major families, and even powerful people from Tianxing Trading Company came one after another. It was too sudden. The wave of monsters that suddenly appeared contained the aura of the combined monsters. This city did not have a strong combined state, so there was no time to stop it. It's over. Once the tide of monsters and beasts is unstoppable and all life is in ruins, what will we do? Zhao Xiao said with an ugly face. At this moment, more and more powerful people came to the high wall, each of them looking ugly. There are too many monsters. What happened to make the monsters in Tianwo Mountain Range riot and want to destroy the capital? Everyone's eyes also turned to Chen Yi. Black robe, black snake mask, isn't this the strong man who destroyed the Su family, the Ji family, and the vice president? But no one dares to get close to Chen Yi. This is a killing god who doesn't know his emotions, anger, sorrow, and joy, so it's better to keep a distance. Chen Yi was inexplicably excited here. Although the tide of monsters was a devastating blow to the capital, once it could not defend itself, all life would be in ruins. But for me, 
killing countless monsters and getting countless corpses can help me break through the realm quickly. No matter what, kill. Chen Yi took action directly at this moment, moved instantly, and exuded an aura that had reached the early stage of integration. Chen Yi then used the Nine Nether Divine Steps, and a middle-grade spiritual sword, the Bamboo Spirit Sword, appeared in his hand. The martial skill he used was Extreme Ice Slash. Three seconds, Chen Yi came to the group of monsters and killed them with one sword. Next, a large area of monster beasts was cut in half, and hundreds of monster beasts were frozen by Chen Yi's eyes. As soon as he takes action, he is either a merged realm monster or an ant in front of Chen Yi. What, is this guy crazy? Dare one person to kill a wave of monsters? Did we misunderstand that this guy is a good person? What's going on? Everyone was dumbfounded when they saw this scene. Chen Yi actually faced the wave of monsters alone. At the same time, when the four combined monsters saw this scene, they were extremely angry and charged towards Chen Yi. How could I let you stop my killing? Chen Yi used the nine nether divine steps and disappeared strangely. When the four combined monsters came to kill, Chen Yi disappeared. Chen Yi then also activated three times the power of the pure Yang Holy Body, and twice the power of the Killing Combat Body. With various power increases, Chen Yi's strength has safely reached the middle stage of integration. Although its speed has reached the mid-stage of fusion, its movement skills are weird. The fused monster is strongest at the mid-stage of fusion and cannot catch up at all. Chen Yi started killing. One sword kills everyone. The tide of monsters appeared in front of Chen Yi, just like cutting vegetables. Seeking death, gravity suppression. The perfect water dragon roared in the early stage of integration, and used super gravity suppression to suppress Chen Yi's speed and strength. Here, Chen Yi felt a powerful aura suppressing him, his speed slowed down, and all his actions slowed down. The power of decay. The water candle demon shouted, spitting out a black energy and killing Chen Yi. 100 times physical defense. Chen Yi disdainfully activated a powerful defense. Chen Yi also has high-grade spiritual armor to block power attacks, so he is not afraid of anything at all. Next, the force hit Chen Yi, and it was like a tickling feeling, which was unable to shake Chen Yi at all. How is this possible? Shui Zuyao looked shocked. This would not hurt Chen Yi. Eat you. At this time, the giant toad came to Chen Yi and swallowed Chen Yi in one gulp. Chen Yi didn't stop him at all. It would be better if he swallowed himself, which would make it easier to kill the combined monster. Ha ha ha, you will definitely die next. Big Stomach King Toad said excitedly. His physical defense has reached perfection, and Chen Yi's power cannot be broken at all, and will naturally be refined by himself. Trash humans, I'm so unhappy for killing so many of our monsters. The last fused monster said in displeasure. The fused monster is a blue-eyed snake demon in the middle stage of fusion. It sticks out its tongue and seems to want to eat Chen Yi. Kill, destroy these humans. The water candle demon roared. Kill, the big stomach king toad also roared. Kill. Then countless monsters continued to advance, killing towards the capital. But no one knew that big stomach king toad was suddenly unable to move. The power is swallowed up and absorbed. Soon, the big eating toad turned into a mummy. In the end, it was wiped out. Only Chen Yi was left, his aura had reached the middle stage of Shuzhou refining, and the three major powers of physical body, mental power and realm had reached the middle stage of void refining. Chen Yi's dantian doubled in size. Is this what it feels like in the middle stage of void refining? From this point of view, it seems that you can do everything. Chen Yi said with the corner of his mouth raised. What? Is this guy not dead? Is the toad dead? Water candle demon sensed something and said in shock. What the hell? How is that possible? This seems to be a perfect defense. The blue-eyed snake demon was also dumbfounded. Run away, I feel his aura is even more terrifying. If you don't run away, you will die. Shalong felt the fear, crossed the space, and fled here. No one can escape unless they merge together. Chen Yi rushed directly into the group of monster beasts. Wherever he passed, large areas of monsters were killed. If gods stand in the way, they will kill gods, if they stand in the way of Buddha, they will kill Buddha. The water candle demon also felt fear and ordered the demon beasts to flee and scatter in all directions. A bunch of cowards, I'll kill this human being. The green-eyed snake demon charged towards Chen Yi angrily. 
The green-eyed snake demon felt that Chen Yi must have used some method, but he was not strong enough, otherwise he would have been dead, so he killed Chen Yi while he was still weak. Chen Yi doesn't like fighting with monster beasts, they are difficult to kill. It would be better to kill a group of void refining, divine transformation, and nascent soul monsters and devour all the bones, maybe you can climb to more realms. Therefore, Chen Yi Juyu Divine Step continued to harvest, harvesting monster beasts crazily. Just like that, one by one, the monsters fell and died. High walls here, the strong human beings were stunned. Everyone couldn't believe this scene. None of the four combined monsters in the Tianwu Mountains could kill Chen Yi, and Chen Yi also slaughtered countless monsters. The capital city really has to thank this person. That's right, Zhao Xiao and everyone said, although it is hard to imagine, they have to admit that Chen Yi protected the capital. Otherwise, if the monster crosses the high wall, life will really be ruined. After a few minutes, only one third of the monsters escaped into the mountains. The green-eyed snake demon also had to escape. Chen Yi was too fast and his strength was too weird, so there was no need to fight. In a meaningless battle, it is better to go back to the Skyfire mountain range. Hunters and prey have changed, and I will not let go of the combined monster beast. Chen Yi said, collecting the bones one by one. Ten minutes later, Chen Yikai went deep into the forest. Next, Chen Yi penetrated deeply without any hindrance. Deep in the Tianwo Mountains. The blue-eyed snake demon and the water candle demon gathered together. Humans, the green-eyed snake demon said angrily. Now we are afraid that this human being will come in, so we have to escape to the Shenlong Mountains to have a chance of survival. Water candle demon said. Afraid of Mao, although this human being is powerful, the two of us can definitely kill him if we join forces. It can't be killed at all. I won't take risks anyway. After the water candle demon finished speaking, he left the Skyfire mountain range. The Tianwo mountain range and the Shenhuang mountain range are connected together. The Shenhuang mountain range is also a paradise for monsters and a place of adventure for humans. But the Shenhuang mountain range is more than a hundred times more terrifying than the Tianwo mountain range. It is also possible for the tribulation monster to appear. The mercenary group must at least be in the realm of refining the void before they dare to set foot inside. I just want to see how powerful this human being is. The green-eyed snake demon said angrily. It would not run away. It wants to stay and be the king. The king here is the king who kills gods when God blocks him, and the king who blocks Buddha when he blocks Buddha. That's fine, they're all gone. I will have the final say in the future of Tianwo mountain range. I am the real king here. The blue-eyed snake demon said proudly. You seem to be happy too early. Chen Yi arrived in an instant and came to the front of the blue-eyed snake demon. Chen Yi didn't expect that the blue-eyed snake demon would dare to stay, so he would be rude and would kill him. Human, your speed is just weird. If you really have to fight hard, you will definitely die. I will not be afraid of you. The blue-eyed snake demon said disdainfully. Then give it a try. After Chen Yi said that, he went out directly. Chen Yi directly killed with the strongest sword, Extreme Ice Slash. The green-eyed snake demon spit out a stream of blue flames, burning everything. Then the flames and sword intent collided. The two forces are comparable, and even the green flame of the blue-eyed snake demon is more powerful. Chen Yi was also shaken back by the flames, and his body was wrapped in cyan flames. It's a pity that the green flames can't hurt Chen Yi at all. Chen Yi immediately activated the supreme sky swallowing demonic power and began to absorb the power of the flames. Human, I'll burn you. Seeing that Chen Yi was not afraid of the flames, the blue-eyed snake demon immediately increased the firepower. Chen Yi remained as still as a mountain, frantically absorbing the flames, and his physical body climbed up at this moment. He quickly rushed to the late stage of refining the void. The aura is getting stronger and stronger. It's over, I'm dead. Chen Yi pretended to be scared and kept gathering strength to stop him. Human, you are at the end of your rope. The blue-eyed snake demon was excited and gathered more terrifying flames to burn Chen Yi. Anyway, I want to kill Chen Yi, so I can't worry about so much. Time passes minute by minute. After a few minutes, the green-eyed snake demon noticed something strange, and the countless flames were slowly disappearing. How dare you lie to me, refine my flames, and seek death. The green-eyed snake demon was angry and swung its tail at Chen Yi. 
Chen Yi's Juyu Divine steps easily dodge. Increase the intensity of absorbing flames. The Cyan flame was absorbed crazily. If you want to absorb the flames, there is no way. The green-eyed snake demon said, absorbing the flames and coming back. But how could Chen Yi miss these flames? The supreme sky-swallowing demonic skill was fully activated, devouring the flames crazily. One person and one demon are devouring the blue flames. The green-eyed snake demon's absorption speed was less than one-third of Chen Yi's. I'll kill you. The green-eyed snake demon was completely angry, opened its mouth wide, and bit into Chen Yi. Extreme Ice Slash Chen Yi took action directly this time and once again slashed at the blue-eyed snake demon. The power of one person and one demon collided together. Chen Yi's sword intent directly drove away the green-eyed snake demon, and also froze the green-eyed snake demon. Death Chen Yi did not hesitate and stabbed his head with a sword. The green-eyed snake demon sensed the danger of death and stirred up more cyan flames, melting the extreme ice. Fortunately, its flames were so powerful that it melted the ice in the blink of an eye. Escape At this moment, the blue-eyed snake demon fled quickly without any hesitation. The green-eyed snake demon was frightened and fled quickly. It's too late to leave now. After Chen Yi finished speaking, he quickly killed the blue-eyed snake demon. The green-eyed snake demon just watched Chen Yi come to it. Human, how dare you? The blue-eyed snake demon shouted, burning his blood, and more flames gush out. The green-eyed snake demon is desperate. Without any hesitation, Chen Yi used the ancient divine fist and hit the blue-eyed snake demon's head with a powerful punch. The blue-eyed snake demon's flame burned on Chen Yi, but there was no injury. Chen Yi's physical defense was so incredible. Next, Chen Yi unilaterally tortured the blue-eyed snake demon. In terms of speed and strength, Chen Yi was no match for him, so he could only be beaten passively. There is also a blue-eyed snake demon whose strongest attack is fire, which cannot shake Chen Yi at all. It also provides Chen Yi with nourishment. It is simply a master in all aspects. After a few minutes, the green-eyed snake demon was blasted to the point of dying, and Chen Yi pierced his head with a sword. The green-eyed snake demon couldn't believe that he would die until he died. Chen Yi sat down and absorbed the cyan flame, the body and bones of the green-eyed snake demon. Very quickly, Chen Yi's physical body broke through and reached the perfection of refining the void. His mental power has reached the late stage of virtual refining. There is no breakthrough in the realm, because the power of the blue-eyed snake demon has turned into blue flames, so there is no breakthrough in the realm. Two of the combined monsters have died, the water dragon and the water candle monster have escaped. It should be impossible to kill these two monsters. There is no need to stay here. After Chen Yi finished speaking, he cast the nine nether gods step by step, the strange thing disappeared. Three minutes later, Chen Yi returned to the city. Everyone looked at Chen Yi with shock on their faces. There is fear, there is emotion, there is curiosity. Chen Yi ignored these people and Juyushan stepped into the crowd. Soon I was lost in the vast sea of people, and no one could be found. At Qingsheng Academy, Chen Yi came to the Dean's Palace, and then countless monster bones appeared with a thought. Chen Yi began to refine and break through the realm. At night, Chen Yi's physical body climbed up to half a step of integration. The spiritual power has reached perfection in the late stage of refining the void. The realm climbed to the late stage of refining the void, and he barely managed to break through to the late stage of refining the void. It was also because there were too many monsters that he broke through so much. In the late stage of void refining, coupled with my methods, as long as you don't encounter a powerful fusion expert, it will basically be fine. Chen Yi said confidently. The next second, Chen Yi came to Shanyu Peak. We arrived at Master Su Xiaonan's attic. What do you want from me? Su Xiaonan said as she walked out of the room. Master, tomorrow is the college competition. Then I will go to the hundred colleges competition. Maybe I will join a powerful college. So, before I leave, I have something to say. Chen Yi said seriously. You want to pick me up? Su Xiaonan said, grabbing something. Master, it turns out you know. Even ghosts can see it. Give me a chance. Where do you get your confidence from? Chen Yi, although you are extremely talented and have a pure young body, you are not qualified enough to be worthy of me. What's more, I don't like scumbags. No chance at all. Chen Yi asked. No chance at all. Anyway, 
I don't like sharing my man with others. Okay, master, I'll give this to you. Chen Yi said and took out a pill, Tianshu pill. Is this Tianshu pill? Su Xiaonan said in shock. Su Xiaonan has seen Tianshu pill, but only in ancient books. Good, I said we couldn't. Master, this is because you help me, and then I honor you. There are no other unnecessary feelings at all. Chen Yi explained. Then I'm welcome. After Su Xiaonan finished speaking, she immediately took the elixir. Of course, Su Xiaonan also took out a space ring. Master, what does this mean? There are a lot of resources in it, so I bought them. Don't do this, master, I have made it very clear. Okay then, Su Xiaonan had no choice but to put away the space ring. Master, regardless of fate or whatever, I like you. After Chen Yi finished speaking, he disappeared. Su Xiaonan's face instantly turned rosy, and then she set up a mental restraint, not wanting Chen Yi to notice that she was blushing. This little fool, if you have some strength, you want to seduce me. Let's wait until you break through the fusion. Su Xiaonan said seriously. No, I don't like scumbags, and it's useless for you to break through. But I don't hate this guy. Su Xiaonan now actually wants to know what it will be like after being with Chen Yi. Chen Yi quickly returned to Chen's house. Chen Yi left a Tianshu pill on Chen Fan's desk and disappeared. Early the next morning, many disciples of Qingsheng Academy returned with flying swords. Today is a fateful day. If you can become the top 10, you will have the opportunity to participate in the 100 Academy War. Once you stand out in the 100 Academy competition and enter the top 20, you can participate in the giant spirit secret realm. If you get the opportunity, your destiny will really change. At this moment, this is the academy competition ground. There were many disciples sitting around. It can be said that basically all the disciples from all the peaks in the inner courtyard gather here. There was a lot of discussion and excitement. Especially when the peak leader Su Xiaonan appeared, she immediately became the object of countless people's attention. Su Xiaonan is so beautiful that it makes people's hearts beat faster. Su Xiaonan still scored 97 points, which was one point more beautiful than Zhao Xiao. But at this time, everyone's eyes were fixed, because a figure flew over with a sword. This person is Wen Yuqi, one of the three great saints in the academy. Wen Yuqi stunned everyone as soon as she appeared. Even Su Xiaonan can't compare. It's so beautiful that it captivates the country. It's so beautiful. If I could have a woman like this, I would be willing to live forever. Good guy, it was your idea. Everyone was talking a lot. Inside Chen Yi's attic. Let's go, Chen Yi said. Okay, the two women nodded, looking relaxed. Their current cultivation levels have reached the strongest ranks in the academy, so they look relaxed. Chen Yi didn't talk nonsense anymore, flew with his sword, and left here. The two women also flew away with their swords. At this time, Chen Yi's spiritual power came out. It was found that 99% of the people gathered at the academy competition ground. The remaining people on the 0.1 level are heading towards the competition ground. Not a moment, Chen Yi and the others arrived at the competition ground. As soon as it appears, Chen Yi and the others immediately became the focus of everyone's attention. Yi Yan, Chen Yi and Zhao Xiao were all in the early stages of becoming gods. How did they practice? Is it because of Chen Yi? Wow, wow, I really envy Chen Yi. Chen Yi used his mental power to sense and check everyone. Chen Yi naturally hopes to bind the new son of luck and daughter of luck. It was also when Chen Yi noticed Wen Yuqi. A reminder appears in the system. Ding, the daughter of luck has been detected, would you like to bind it? Bind, ding, the girl of luck, Wen Yuqi, was successfully bound. Name, Wen Yuqi. Age, 20. Height. 166. Weight. 50. Body. D+. Plus. Appearance. 98. Favorability. 40. Identity. Saint of Qingsheng Academy, Saint of the Demonic Phoenix Clan. Cultivation. Half-step integration. Half-step integration, Saintess of the Phoenix Clan. Chen Yi saw the introduction of the system and thought he had seen it wrong. And when Yu Qi is only 20 years old. Although the 20-year-old half-step combination is not as good as myself, it has surpassed too many people. It can be called a genius. Husband, have you fallen in love with Wen Yuqi? Yi Yan asked curiously. It's beautiful, very beautiful. 
If you don't like it, it's all fake. Chen Yi said honestly. Then I'll help you. Yi Yan said, how can I help? Just saying that my husband is against nature, maybe she will fall in love with him. Farewell, Wen Yuqi is not simple. Chen Yi shook his head. Not simple. Yi Yan wondered, how could a person who could make Chen Yi say, not simple, be weak? Isn't Wen Yuqi only in the middle stage of nascent soul? Zhao Xiao looked confused. Just trust me, if you face Wen Yuqi, just admit defeat. Chen Yi said again. So strong, the two women were even more shocked. You must know that Zhao Xiao is in the middle stage of void refining. Chen Yi nodded. The two women also looked at Wen Yuqi, full of curiosity. At the same time, the dean of the college appeared quickly and landed on the competition stage. Meet the dean, everyone said respectfully. Chen Yi said nothing. The dean is his puppet. If you respect him, you respect yourself. Everyone, without further ado, let's start the college competition directly. Those who want to participate in the college competition, please come to my side. Yes, Mr. Dean. After the disciples finished speaking, they flew over with swords one by one. Ten people, thirty people, sixty people. Wen Yuqi, Chen Yi, Yi Yan, and Zhao Xiao came to the competition stage one after another. The number of people also reached 180. There are 180 people in the inner courtyard, all Yuanying. However, there are also gods, three in total, all in the early stage of transformation and none in the middle stage of transformation. These gods are all 28 or 29 years old, stuck at the age limit. He must be a very, very old student. The dean said again, the competition is very simple. In the first round of the arena battle, there are a total of 20 arenas. Each one chooses the arena. The strongest person will advance, that is, 20 people will advance. In the second round, there will be a duel between two, and the winner will be to advance to the top 10, if the loser feels that he is strong enough to advance to the top 10, he will have a chance to challenge anyone in the top 10. If he succeeds in the challenge, he can advance to the top. If he fails in the challenge, he will be a complete failure. Do you understand? I understand. Everyone said one after another. Just two rounds, very simple. Okay, let's start choosing the arena. After the dean said, he divided the arena into 20 parts. Wen Yuqi chose number one with confidence. Chen Yi didn't want to expose his strength to his opponent Wen Yuqi, so he chose no. Two. Yi Yan no. Three. Zhao Xiao no. 4. Other saints and saints have chosen numbers other than number 4. I don't want to face Chen Yi and the others. Soon, the grouping was completed. There is no one here at Chen Yi. Yi Yan, Zhao Xiao, and Wen Yuqi didn't either. Automatic promotion. Others here. None of the three transformed gods dared to go up. Seven people advanced directly. There are 13 competition stages left, some with more than 30 people competing for one spot, and some with 10 people competing for one spot. Seven of you advance, and the competition for the others begins. The dean rose into the sky and said to everyone. War. Everyone in the thirteen arenas took action. The light of the sword and the shadow of the sword. Chen Yi and the others came to the promotion area with relaxed expressions. There were twenty seats in total, and the seven of them found a seat and sat down casually. Anyway, just watch the performance next. Husband, it's so boring and not interesting at all. Yi Yan pouted and said. Yi Yan also wanted to show her strong strength and crush her opponents, but it was a pity that she was not given the chance. There will be a second round later, it won't be boring. Yes, Yi Yan nodded. There is still a second round, which should be good. At this time, Wen Yuqi suddenly looked at Chen Yi. Chen Yi also looked at Wen Yuqi. The two looked at each other, and Wen Yuqi immediately looked away. At this time, Chen Yi opened his weakness eye to check Wen Yuqi's weaknesses. The Phoenix Clan was destroyed by the evil Phoenix Clan. They have a blood feud and want to kill the evil Phoenix Clan. Desire to become stronger, do whatever it takes. I didn't expect Wen Yuqi's Phoenix Clan to be destroyed by the evil Phoenix Clan. No wonder I came to Qingsheng Academy to avoid the evil Phoenix Clan. Chen Yi said secretly. Are you going to do whatever it takes to become stronger? If I let her know that I have the pure Yang holy body, will she agree to be with me? Chen Yi was thinking wildly. How should I get started? Chen Yi looked confused. 
After all, if you want Wen Yuqi to fall in love with you, you must first get to know him, become friends, and finally fall in love with him. It's better to hold on tight first and let Wen Yuqi find me on his own. Chen Yi said secretly, looking towards the competition stage. It would be interesting to watch other people compete. That's all. An hour later, after a nascent soul on the 17th stage successfully fought hard and won the final victory, all competitions came to an end. Several dark horses appeared, and all of them were Yuan Ying who showed his ability to become a god. He defeated one against 10 or 20, and successfully advanced to the next level. Take a rest for an hour and start the second round. At this time, the dean said. Yes, Yi Yan, Zhao Xiao and all the other people who were promoted said one after another. Chen Yi is still in a cold state. The same goes for Wen Yuqi, who is half-stepped together and is just going through the motions here. It can be said that the person who can make Wen Yuqi care about is Chen Yi. Wen Yuqi knew Chen Yi, so he naturally understood that Chen Yi was very mysterious and felt that he was not in the early stage of becoming a god. It's like this an hour later. The dean came to the competition stage. At this time, the competition stages merged together and turned into a huge competition stage. Please invite the promoted disciples to come up. Yes, Yi Yan said and everyone came to the competition stage one after another. The pure color transforms into spirit, and the nascent soul is perfect. The lowest level is nascent soul perfection, a duel between absolute masters. The next step is to draw lots. It depends on your luck to draw lots for your opponent. After the dean finished speaking, a thought made 20 tokens fly out from the space ring. The 20 tokens were two numbers from 1 to 10. If they drew the same, they would become opponents. Chen Yi looked over and could clearly see the digits of all the token numbers. For Chen Yi, who was mentally strong, the restrictions on these tokens were ineffective against him. Start drawing lots, the dean said. Yes. Everyone began to choose tokens. After when Yuqi chose no. 3. Chen Yi immediately got no. 4. Chen Yi also immediately sent a message to Yi Yan and the two girls. You choose the 7th and 8th row in the second row, which are number 8 and number 9 respectively. Yi Yan and Zhao Xiao didn't hesitate and got these two numbers immediately. One minute later, the draw is over. Number 1 will stay, and everyone else will step back. The dean said again. Yes. After everyone said this, they all returned to their seats. Only two young men remained. The first is the young man in black who is in the early stage of becoming a god, and the second is the young man in white who is in the perfect stage of nascent soul. You are no match for me. The young man in black said disdainfully. Although you are a god, your realm is unstable, and it is not certain who will win. The young man in white replied. Then let's give it a try. After the young man in black said, he slashed towards the young man in white with a sword. The young man in black holds a high-grade treasure in his hand, and his sword intent has reached the second level of sword intent. The young man in white looked disdainful, and a high-grade treasure weapon appeared, but his sword intent reached the third level and his spiritual energy was strong, so he decisively killed him. Ten minutes later, the young man in white paid the price of serious injuries and won by luck, a narrow victory. The young man in black looked confused and didn't understand why he still failed to transform into a god. It's really rubbish. Many people complained. State does not represent strength. Chen Yi said, and he is the best example. Congratulations to Holy Son Lin Hai for winning and drawing the second disciple to compete. The dean said. Yes, at this time, a nascent soul consummation and a half-step god transformation disciple came here. The two are equally matched in strength. In the end, it was Yi Xiaoman, the saint who became a half-step god. Qingsheng Academy has three great saints, Yi Yan, Zhao Xiao and Wen Yuqi, because of their extremely beautiful appearance, but besides them, there are many saints and saints. Congratulations to Yi Xiaoman for winning. Please come up, contestant number. 3. The Dean said again. At this time, Wen Yuqi came to the competition stage. Her opponent is a young man with perfect nascent soul. The young man frowned, Wen Yuqi always gave people a very scary feeling. You are no match for me, so just admit defeat. Wen Yuqi said. You are only in the middle stage of nascent soul. We are all nascent souls. It is not certain who will win or lose. After the young man finished speaking, he went straight to Wen Yuqi. But before he got close to Wen Yuqi, 
when Yuchi slashed out with a sword intent, reached the power of the early stage of becoming a god. The young man was directly thrown out of the ring, spitting out a large mouthful of blood, and his face turned pale. The young man has a look of despair, and the mid-stage nascent soul shows his strength in the early stages of becoming a god. Is this the difference between a genius and a genius? Congratulations to Wen Yuchi for winning. Disciple number four is invited to come up. The dean continued to announce. Chen Yi immediately came to the competition stage. Chen Yi's opponent is a little beauty in a yellow dress. He immediately shook his head and said, I admit defeat, so I won't go up and embarrass myself. The little beauty doesn't care about dueling with Chen Yi. Chen Yi is too strong and can challenge him easily. Not to mention that Chen Yi is currently in the early stage of becoming a god, so he can't beat him. He can't beat him at all. Chen Yi was speechless. He had no chance to show off and return to the two women. Congratulations to Chen Yisheng, please invite disciple number 5 to come up. Next comes an avatar and a nascent soul. However, the transformation of the spirit made the nascent soul complete in seconds. It was a saint named Liang Na who won. The next 6 and 7th games were won by two young people, who were in the early stage of becoming a god and the half step of becoming a god respectively. They all showed their strength in the early stage of becoming a god and were easily promoted. The eighth game is Yi Yan, and her opponent is a woman who is half step into becoming a god. The two of them didn't talk nonsense and took action directly. But the woman who was half stepped into becoming a god was instantly struck by a single move. There was a huge gap in strength. Yi Yan also attracted more attention. As soon as Zhao Xiao appeared in the ninth game, his opponent immediately admitted defeat. After experiencing Yi Yan's strength, Zhao Xiao was naturally not bad at all, so it was just right to admit defeat. In the tenth game, Wang Xiaoru, a woman in white and a dark horse, transformed into a god in half a step, but showed her full strength in the early stages of transformation, easily crushing her opponent. The losers have a chance to challenge. Does anyone want to challenge the top ten people who advance? At this time, the dean said to everyone. No one answered. They all had the ability to transform into gods, so there should be no hope for this challenge. If not, then the next step is the third round, the first battle. Those who advance to the top ten will come on stage. The dean said again. Chen Yi had no choice but to go up, as did Yi Yan and Zhao Xiao. The realm is so powerful, and the academy's first place reward is of little use. Let's go, Chen Yi said to the two women. Yes, husband. The two women nodded and left with Chen Yi using his sword. The same goes for Wen Yuqi. The top 10 can just participate in the 100 Academy competition. There is no need to compete for first place and expose their strength. Everyone is a little confused, why don't we compete for first place? Can't you even look down on the first one? Su Xiaonan also looked puzzled. Doesn't Chen Yi like resources very much? There are a lot of resources for the first place. However, Others can only be confused and regretful, unable to change Chen Yi's thoughts. In the end, only six disciples were left to participate. The dean also continued to host the competition. An hour later, Dark Horse Wang Xiaoru won first place. But everyone knows that the number one should be Chen Yi or the mysterious Wen Yuqi, but they keep a low profile. The dean also announced that three days later, he would set off from Juling City to participate in the 100 Academy competition. It can also be said that the Ten Chen Yi people have graduated. In the future, they can use Giant Spirit City as a springboard to join more terrifying forces. But over the years, only a few people from Qingsheng Academy have gone out, and most of them have died. The world of cultivating immortals is extremely cruel. Sometimes being a genius is not necessarily a good thing. It is not necessarily a bad thing for some disciples who transform into gods to marry a few stunning women and live a peaceful and happy life. Just like that, a lively competition ended in a hurry. At the same time, outside the capital, a man in black robe came very quickly, his aura reached the middle stage of integration, and his speed was extremely fast. Inside Chen Yi's attic, Chen Yi's mental power sometimes spreads to about 35 kilometers to see if any strong ones are coming. At this moment, Chen Yi really felt it. Man in black robe, in the middle stage of integration. The smell is very strange. Chen Yi made the nearby fusion puppet hide with a thought. 
Those who can bring such a powerful person to him at this time will probably be against him and have a grudge against him. The enemy is in the dark and Chen Yi is in the light. This feeling is very uncomfortable. After Chen Yi arranged a mental power restriction, he strangely left Shan Yu Peak. After a few minutes, the man in black robe stepped into the academy. In the end, the man in black robe directly entered the Shan Yu Peak of Qingsheng Academy. Who is that person? At this time, the Supreme Elder killed the man in black robe as fast as possible. The Supreme Elder was in the late stage of integration, so the Supreme Elder immediately noticed the appearance of the man in black robe. It's just rubbish in the late stage of integration. The man in black robe said with disdain. Then he came to the Supreme Elder in an instant and killed him with a sword. The man in black robe's sword intent has reached the fourth level, and his strength is very terrifying. Destroying marks. The Taishang Elder slashed out with one sword, and his sword intent also reached the fourth level. The swords of the two collided. The Supreme Elder was directly blasted away by the sword intent. He was slightly injured, but he was indeed no match. Chen Yi saw this scene not far away, with a shocked expression on his face, Good guy, you have surpassed two small realms and you are a super genius. Kill. Chen Yi killed without hesitation at this moment. The perfect puppet, wearing a black robe, was also killed. The man in black robe noticed two terrifying auras here. Escape as quickly as possible. No matter how confident the man in black robe is, he is still at the peak of his combined strength. There is no match for the perfect puppet. It's a pity that Chen Yi is extremely fast. He kills the middle grade spiritual sword with one sword. The fifth level of sword intention, pure yang holy body, and killing holy body power are activated. Chen Yi's strength has reached the peak of the combined power. The speed exceeded the peak of the combined body. Seeking death. The man in black robe immediately killed him with a sword. That's all. The swords of the two collided. In the end, the power of Chen Yi and the man in black robes formed a rivalry, and no one was stronger than the other. How is this possible? The man in black robe was dumbfounded that Chen Yi was so powerful. He now regrets why he killed Chen Yi and what kind of idiotic behavior he committed. Death. The puppet blinked and came behind the black robed man, and punched him to kill him. The puppet is a complete combination of complete strength. Counterbalance. The man in black robe immediately gathered his strength to defend. This is a flanking attack. But the next second, all power is destroyed. In the end, the man in black robe was punched and flew out. It hit the ground hard, and a huge deep pit appeared. Blood continued to pour out of the corners of the man's mouth, and his face turned pale. How could Chen Yi miss the opportunity to kill? In an instant, he was killed with a sword. The men in black robes once again gathered their strength to resist. Barely able to resist Chen Yi's power. But the puppet took action immediately. In the end, his heart was broken with one punch. After reaching the realm of integration, the gap between a small realm is also a huge gap. The difference in the small realm of refining qi and building the foundation is not obvious, but when it comes to Mahayana and transcending tribulations, it is a real world of difference. Ding, if you successfully kill the enemy in the middle stage of integration, you will be rewarded to the host with a bottle of 8th grade Chenkin creation pill. Note, Chenkin good fortune pill is an 8th grade top elixir. It can not only improve the realm, but also improve the physical body, or can make people enter the state of enlightenment. It is mysterious and mysterious, and has huge benefits. This Chenkin good fortune pill can do it. Chen Yi was excited in his heart. For him now, he really needs this kind of pill to break through the realm. There are still corpses, don't miss them. Chen Yi said, collecting the bones and the space ring. Who are you, your excellency? At this time, the Supreme Elder said respectfully. Anyway, I won't hurt the college, nor will I hurt anyone. Just treat me as heir. After Chen Yi finished speaking, he left the college. The dean is even more confused, is that it? The dean still doesn't understand who the man in black robe is and what the purpose of appearing here is. There are too many unsolved mysteries. The surrounding disciples, elders, and peak masters were even more confused. Why did another combined battle suddenly break out? Is the academy unsafe? Others were even more confused. Su Xiaonan probably guessed something here. He should kill Chen Yi, and then the man in the black snake mask rescued Chen Yi and killed him in return. The thing is actually very simple. Chapter 51 
Has Qingsheng Academy always been hiding powerful fusion experts? Wen Yuqi frowned and said. She had only half stepped into fusion, and it was naturally impossible to resist the perfect fusion. She is particularly worried now that someone in love has thoughts about her. What should she do if she wants to take a fancy to her beautiful face? Wen Yuqi now regrets joining Qingsheng Academy. She thought she was invincible, but she didn't expect that there would be a strong fused person. It would be a perfect fit even if there was a fused body. Forget it, it's not against me anyway. Even if it's against me, I still have a trump card. At worst, I can just use this trump card. Wen Yuqi said helplessly. In the end, she just hoped to spend these three days safely and participate in the Baiyuan competition. Outside the college, after Chen Yi randomly found an inn, he took out the bones from the middle stage of integration and refined them. A few minutes later, Chen Yi's cultivation reached the middle stage of the late stage of refining the void, and his level climbed a little higher. Chen Yi then opened the space ring. After just opening it, Chen Yi was immediately surprised. There were countless spirit stones, many pills, demon pills, and even the bones of a seventh level monster beast. The resources are very abundant. Maybe it can help me break through and reach the peak of void refining. It's good, it's worthy of being a resource for a strong body. Chen Yi said with great satisfaction. Ha, huh, is this an identity token? Chen Yi saw a black token in the corner of the space. It says, kill the temple of God, with the word, Chin Han, next to it. What kind of organization is the killing temple? Chen Yi looked confused. Finally, Chen Yi received the token and entered the system space, always feeling that this token might have some use. Next, practice hard and break through more realms. After Chen Yi finished speaking, he began to refine resources, absorb these pills, the energy of monster corpses, etc. Time flies. At night, Chen Yi Shou made a breakthrough and reached the peak realm of virtual refining. He absorbed all the resources before breaking through to a small realm. However, Chen Yi's breakthrough this time means that his strength has increased again, and it is no longer a problem to compete and merge successfully. Chen Yi left the inn immediately. At this time, the perfect puppet came to Chen Yi and said respectfully, Meet the master. Next, you protect the Chen family and my father, Chen Fan. Yes, master. After the puppet finished speaking, he hid in the Chen family. But the puppet's time is only more than three minutes, so we need to increase the time. After Chen Yi finished speaking, he went directly to the palace. When the powerful man from the palace took action against him, it was time to charge some interest. Capital City, Royal Palace. It is strongest in the early stage of integration. All that's left is to refine the void and transform into a god. Inside the palace, security is tight, but for Chen Yi, it is in name only. Very quickly, Chen Yi came to the depths of the palace. Along the way, Chen Yi also felt relieved. There was indeed only one strong person in the early stage of integration. Spirit Gathering Array. After Chen Yi came to a mountain peak in the palace, he noticed a formation, the Spirit Gathering Array, which was a formation that condensed spiritual energy within a hundred miles radius. The concentration of spiritual energy has reached 45 times that of the outside world. No wonder it can break through the realm of integration. Chen Yi understood something and stepped into the Spirit Gathering Array. The ancestor of the Imperial Palace in the early stage of integration did not notice Chen Yi's arrival. Not only was he too involved in seclusion, but also because Chen Yi had strong mental power and strange body skills. Soon, Chen Yi arrived here. Suppression. Chen Yi didn't have any bells and whistles, and his aura sword, suppressing the strong men in the early stages of the palace's integration. When the ancestor in the early stage of integration opened his eyes, he was suppressed on the ground. There is a huge difference in strength between the early stage of integration and the perfect integration. Chen Yi was just in case, and his mental power covered everything. Who are you? Why do you want to attack me? The ancestor said with fear in the early stage of integration. He didn't understand who he had offended. Why, you forgot about me so quickly? Chen Yi said, coming to the old man in the early stage of integration. When the ancestor saw Chen Yi in the early stage of integration, he was shocked. Chen Yi turned out to be a man in a black snake mask. He seemed not very powerful before. I didn't offend you, did I? The ancestor was confused. I don't care if you offend me or not, I can do whatever I want. 
Chen Yi said, turning on the puppet magic. This time, Chen Yi chose to control the opponent. An ancestor in the early stage of integration is too important, which means that he controls the Qingsheng Empire, and he wants to be the emperor, which is just a thought. Time flies. After a few minutes, Chen Yi successfully controlled and made the ancestor his puppet. Greetings to the master, Qing Sheng Patriarch said respectfully. Go and collect all the resources in the palace for me. Yes, master, I will take care of it now. After the Qingsheng Patriarch finished speaking, he disappeared immediately. Once the puppet magic is successfully controlled, unless the other party's mental power is stronger than one's own, it will be impossible to break it for the rest of his life. It can be said that if Chen Yi lets Ancestor Qingsheng die now, Ancestor Qingsheng will not hesitate at all. Chen Yi's mental power then surged out and spread out, looking for the daughter or son of luck. Very quickly, the inspection of the palace was over, but there was no lucky son or lucky daughter. There were quite a few beautiful ones, but compared with Yi Yan and Zhao Xiao, the gap was too big, and Chen Yi was not interested. With Yi Yan and Zhao Xiao at the same level, Chen Yi is not very interested in those with lower looks. An hour later, Ancestor Ching Sheng is back, respectfully handed Chen Yi a space ring. Chen Yi took over and checked, and found that the resources were abundant, but only half of Qin Han's resources. Chen Yi lamented that the Qingsheng Empire was still too small, a borderland with few resources. Next, you protect the Chen family and give any good things to the Chen family. Do you understand? Yes, Master, Qingsheng ancestor said respectfully. By the way, don't you have any great beauties or evil geniuses in your Qingsheng palace? Master, of course I have. My granddaughter Xiao Rongyu is a super evil genius. She sinks fish and falls into the wild goose, closes the moon and shames the flower. She was the most beautiful woman in the capital at the time. Ancestor Ching Sheng explained. What, are you sure? The corners of Chen Yi's mouth raised. She felt like the daughter of luck. Of course, very good, let her come back, get her engaged, and let her become a Taoist couple with me. Master, I can't do this. Ching Sheng ancestor said helplessly. What's the meaning? Xiao Rongyu is now a saint in the Yaochi Holy Land. People in the Yaochi Holy Land cannot marry or become Taoist couples. She cannot listen to me. Chen Yi, how about giving it a try? Chen Yi asked. Okay master, let me give it a try. After the Qingsheng ancestor finished speaking, he immediately contacted Xiao Rongyu through the Sun Mother Sound Transmission Stone. At the same time, Yaochi Holy Land, on top of a mountain peak. The fairy atmosphere here is floating, like a fairyland. Moreover, the aura is a hundred times richer than the outside world. At this moment, in the middle of a pool, a beautiful woman emerges from the water with hibiscus, enchanting the country and the city. It is also one of the four great beasts. It's so beautiful, so beautiful that it can't be compared to anything else. This woman is the 35-year-old Xiao Rongyu, the saint who came out of Qingsheng Academy and the princess of Qingsheng Empire. The realm has reached half-step Mahayana. The 35-year-old half-step Mahayana can be said to be a well-deserved super genius. At this time, Xiao Rong Yu discovered the message from his grandfather. Open with curiosity. Rong Yu, grandpa recently arranged a marriage for you. He is said to be a super genius and handsome. I wonder if you can come back and see if you have time. Okay, go back tomorrow. Xiao Rong Yu agreed without hesitation. After all, she also wanted to go home. Okay, grandpa is waiting for you. Good, super genius, I'm afraid it saved my grandfather's life and allowed me to get engaged to this person. After Xiao Rongyu finished speaking, he left here. After saying goodbye to her master, she hid her aura and left the Yaochi Holy Land. She was just going to the Qingsheng Empire. She didn't bring anyone with her, so she could handle it by herself. Ancestor Qingsheng and Chen Yi are here. Ancestor Qingsheng said happily, Congratulations, Master, for fulfilling your mission. It sounds like I just came here to see you, and you are not interested in me as an engaged person. Chen Yi said, Then will the Master meet again? See you, why not? Then Master, please wait a moment. Rong Yu will probably be back early tomorrow morning. No, she's back, just send the message to me. It's the Master. Remember, in front of her, you are still the ancestor, don't be a gangster. Yes, Chen Yi didn't say anything more and flew away with his sword.
Soon, Chen Yi came to the academy's Shanyu Peak and returned to his attic. When the two women saw Chen Yi coming in, they said with worried faces, Husband, is there someone looking at you? Don't worry, he has been killed. No, can't you always avoid the killer? Fool, if you go to Giant Spirit City, you can naturally avoid success. But who wants to kill you? Yi Yan was confused. It could be Xu Tian, it could be the Ji Yu family, the remnants of the Su family, or someone I offended, it could be anyone. How about we stop going to the Baiyuan competition, find a place to hide and practice, spend hundreds of years with peace of mind, and break through to the Mahayana realm. Do you think it's safe to find a place to hide and practice? It's too easy for a strong person to find a weak person. To be truly invincible is to become stronger all the time, become crazy and powerful, and be so powerful that no enemy can catch up with you. Even if they want to kill you, there is no such thing. Strength. Chen Yi said confidently, I think your husband is right. Zhao Xiao said seriously. Okay then, just work hard to become stronger. Yi Yan nodded. I'm here to help you. Chen Yi smiled evilly. Xiao, you resist first. After Yi Yan said that, she ran away immediately. Husband, be gentle. Zhao Xiao said seriously. Of course. Time flies. At three o'clock in the morning, Chen Yi reluctantly left Yi Yan's room. Yi Yan was already fast asleep. Chen Yi began to use the palace resources to absorb and refine them. Early the next morning, Chen Yi's cultivation breakthrough reached the late stage of the peak of void refining, which was a huge improvement. Chen Yi was very happy. At the late stage of Lianzhu's peak, he was not far away from Lianzhu's consummation. But the only shortcoming is that the spiritual power rises too slowly. It is still in the late stage of refining the void, and the physical body has reached half a step of integration. The mental power is too weak. Chen Yi said helplessly. At this time, Chen Yi received a message from the ancestor Qingsheng. Chen Yi immediately left the attic and left the college. Finally, Chen Yi appeared in the palace. Here in the palace, the all-powerful Xiao Rongyu came to the palace of Patriarch Qingsheng and was chatting and drinking tea with Patriarch Qingsheng. At this time, the system issued a reminder. Ding, the daughter of luck has been detected, would you like to bind it? Bind, ding, Xiao Rongyu, the daughter of luck, has been successfully bound. Name, Xiao Rongyu, age, 35, height, 170, weight, 56, body, e, appearance, 98, favorability, 0, identity, saint of Yaochi holy land, cultivation, half-step Mahayana. Sure enough, his talent is unparalleled. He is half a step into the Mahayana. He is enough to stand out from the rest. Chen Yi said secretly. Grandpa, these resources, elixirs, etc. are left to you to improve your cultivation, attack the Mahayana, and bring the Qingsheng Empire to a higher level. Okay, ancestor Qing Sheng was satisfied that these resources were given to Chen Yi. And what about the super genius that Grandpa said? What's the rush? I'll be here soon. Then I'll wait a little longer. Xiao Rongyu said, sitting down to practice. Ancestor Qingsheng didn't say much, just waited quietly. Chen Yi opened his eyes for weakness at this time. Weaknesses. Weaknesses can be seen with the divine eye. If they are targeted, maybe. Weakness situation. Half step in Mahayana cultivation. Taoist mind is not stable. I don't know whether to cut off the root of love or not. It's a bit confusing. Eager to date and experience the feeling of a Taoist couple. I have recently been targeted by the Holy Lord of Yaochi, and may become the woman of the Holy Lord of Yaochi. What the hell, what kind of breaking news is this? Chen Yi was extremely shocked. The Holy Master of Yaochi turned out to be that kind of woman, and she actually targeted Xiao Rongyu. No, is it possible that the Holy Master of Yaochi is a man, pretending to be a man and then? It shouldn't be. The possibility of pretending is extremely small. We can only say that she likes women. Chen Yi got the answer. Chen Yi also understood why Yaochi Holy Land did not allow disciples to form Taoist couples. This was the fundamental reason. Thinking of this, Chen Yi flew with his sword and came to the mountain peak, in front of Xiao Yi and Ancestor Qing Sheng. I've met Ancestor Qing Sheng, Chen Yi said respectfully. At this time, Xiao Rongyu looked at Chen Yi and was a little moved for a moment. Chen Yi was handsome and had a great figure. The key was that he had some evil spirits and a very good temperament. 
Xiao Rongyu looked at Chen Yi as if Chen Yi saw a girl with 97 points of luck. It starts with appearance. You're welcome, this is what I said, my granddaughter Xiao Rongyu, the saint of Yaochi Holy Land. Qingsheng ancestor said. Hello Xiao Rongyu, my name is Chen Yi. I am the holy son of Qingsheng Academy. I am in the late stage of becoming a god. I am 19 years old this year. What, you're only 19 years old? Xiao Rongyu looked shocked. She reached the late stage of divine transformation at the age of 19, which even she had not achieved back then. Not bad, Chen Yi said. It's a pity, I'm too young. Lord Saint, I am not young in any way, and in the world of cultivating immortals, it seems that age is not considered, but cultivation is considered. You can't compare to me in cultivation. Chen Yi. Chen Yi really wanted to exude the aura of peak refining, but he decided not to do so because it was not as high as the Mahayana realm. Rong Yu, Chen Yi is the grandson of my former brother. His grandfather saved my life. If it weren't for his grandfather, I would definitely die, and I wouldn't be without you. As a human being, I must learn to repay my kindness. Since he is an evil genius, of course I am worthy of you. Ching Sheng Patriarch said, But Grandpa, the rules of Yaochi Holy Land do not allow me to become a Taoist couple with any man. No, we can do it secretly, not openly. What's more, we just get along. If it's not suitable, we can stop communicating. I don't force anything, Chen Yi said. Do you really just think this way? Xiao Rongyu was moved in his heart. After all, getting along with him was nothing. Moreover, because of his strong cultivation, Chen Yi would not hurt him at all, and everything was under his control. That's right, if you don't want to, I won't force anything. Chen Yi said again. Well, let's take it as repayment. If there is anything inappropriate between us, I will leave immediately. Xiao Rongyu said. Xiao Rongyu felt that Chen Yi was quite normal and could help him understand the man, even if it helped him solve his inner demons. Xiao Rongyu's favorability level rose to 40 at this time, and he initially thought Chen Yi was pretty good. Okay, no problem. Then how do we start? Xiao Rongyu asked doubtfully. She seems to be a blank sheet of paper when it comes to feelings and love. Of course we are traveling around, eating, drinking and having fun. Could it be that two people can't practice face to face? Oh, Xiao Rongyu nodded, understanding something. Ancestor Qingsheng, I will take my leave now. Chen Yi said. Grandpa, take care, Xiao Rongyu said respectfully. Yeah, go ahead, get along well, don't make me sad. Yes, Grandpa. After Xiao Rongyu said that, he rose into the sky and disappeared. Chen Yi flew with his sword and disappeared. After a while, the two came to the market. But Chen Yi put on a mask. So does Xiao Rongyu. Moreover, it was Xiao Rongyu who suggested it, so Chen Yi naturally agreed happily, as he did not want to expose his identity. Then the two started eating, drinking, and chatting. Chen Yi occasionally said some ancient words about clouds thinking about clothes and flowers thinking about appearance. Anyway, Xiao Rongyu was so happy while chatting with Lao Yutiao, a feeling he had never felt before. Unknowingly, Xiao Rongyu's favorability level also reached 60. Rongyu, can I call you like this? Chen Yi and Xiao Rongyu faced each other in the tea house, and Chen Yi said with sincere eyes. Okay, Xiao Rongyu blushed a little under his mask. After all, it was too disgusting to be called that by a man. It's our first time meeting you and I don't know what to give you. I think this thing should be of great help to you, so I gave it to you. Chen Yi said and took out an 8th grade Chenkin good fortune pill. Chen Yi wrapped the elixir with his mental power and did not leak any medicinal fragrance, so it did not attract any attention. Is this the 8th grade Chenkin creation pill? Xiao Rongyu said with a look of shock. She is also well informed, and she immediately recognized the Chenkin creation pill, which can enhance one's realm, physical body, or allow people to enter a state of enlightenment. It is mysterious and mysterious, and has huge benefits. It can be said that if you have this elixir, you can solve your inner demons and break through the Mahayana, it will be just around the corner. Good, we have only been together for less than a few hours, and you gave it to me. If I don't become a Taoist companion with you, wouldn't you be at a loss? You are a bit narrow-minded. Love is selfless. I like you, so naturally I am selfless. Whatever I give you, I never think about taking it back. Even if I can't become a Taoist couple, I can still be a friend. 
Chen Yi said sincerely. Thank you. Xiao Rongyu's eyes shone brightly and his heart beat faster. This was the first time she felt a different emotion, and her favorability rose again. Came to 70. Chen Yi also expected that if the goodwill pill for Chen Kin does not improve his favorability, he will really cry to death. There's no need to say thank you between us. Don't worry, I will definitely give it to you if I can help you break through the void in the future. Xiao Rongyu said immediately. That's good, because I can see you more often. Chen Yi accepted. Do you usually flirt with girls like this? No, my main priority is sincerity. I can tell. Xiao Rongyu nodded. Chen Yi was indeed sincere. Rong Yu, I'm actually very curious, why can't your Yaochi Holy Land allow disciples and men to become Taoist couples? This is the decision of Holy Lord Yaochi. I think this kind of decision is not a good one, because people are free and everyone can choose their own life instead of obeying other people's arrangements. If everyone obeys the arrangements, wouldn't it be like living like the Holy Lord? I, Xiao Rong Yu couldn't refute, because she thought so too. This is her inner demon. So, do you want to give it a try? Maybe you will feel differently. Chen Yi asked. What should I try? How should I try it? Xiao Rongyu was curious. What ordinary couples do, we do. Chen Yi said. Ah, you want to trick me into losing Yuan Yin. How is it possible, except for Yuan Yin of course. Oh, that's okay. Xiao Rongyu nodded. If he didn't lose his Yuan Yin, he could actually accept it. Then let's take the first step. How about holding hands? Chen Yi asked. I, Xiao Rongyu's face turned rosy instantly, this was too direct. If you don't want to, I won't force you. Chen Yi said. I can, Xiao Rongyu said seriously. For some reason, she didn't hate Chen Yi like this, but she suddenly became bolder. Chen Yi secretly smiled evilly, if he didn't know your weakness, who would have tempted you like this? Okay, give it a try. Chen Yi said, grabbing Xiao Rongyu's little hand. Chen Yi felt a cold and extremely soft feeling. Just like water, this Xiao Rongyu is simply amazing. Ding, it has been detected that Xiao Rongyu has a special physique. During the battle, you will have a different feeling and get rewards and critical hits. Ah, what do you mean by special physique? Chen Yi's face changed slightly. Ding, the host should understand that one of the four great beasts, Stone Girl, etc., has many special physiques, and Xiao Rongyu is one of them. Simply put, it is the best of the best. I understand. Chen Yi was excited, this was so wonderful. Xiao Rongyu, it is imperative. Chen Yi doesn't have anything to worry about. He's a veteran and can handle it easily. He doesn't need any threats. Chen Yi is taking a high-end route. After all, favorability is needed to obtain rewards. And although threats will be obtained, they will not completely fall in love with each other. Xiao Rongyu's heartbeat was racing, he was extremely nervous, and he didn't dare to look at Chen Yi. Chen Yi said, Rong Yu, your hands are the most beautiful I have ever seen, and you are also the most beautiful I have ever seen. Glib tongue, Xiao Rongyu said with a smile. Xiao Rongyu is happy, who doesn't like to be praised, and it's a couple who praise each other. Rong Yu, how about we go for a walk? Okay, the two of them then continued walking in the capital. But this time, several young people intercepted Chen Yi and the others. Chen Yi understood these people. They were overlords in the capital. To put it simply, they relied on their family and background to do a lot of bad things. Beauty, open the mask and show it to me, the obese young man said with an evil smile. Yes, why are you wearing a mask? Others said in the same vulgar way. There is only one word for disrespecting my woman, death. After Chen Yi said coldly, he directly crushed a few people with his breath. Then it turned into blood mist and disappeared into ashes. Ding, domineering protect Xiao Rongyu, reward special props, a love bracelet. Note, after the girl of luck puts on the love bracelet, she will subtly increase her favorability, fall in love with the host, and directly increase her favorability by five points. That's awesome, Chen Yi was excited in his heart. This prop is awesome, so much needed. Chen Yi actually didn't have much confidence in making Xiao Rongyu fall in love in a short time, but with this prop, he was very sure. Anyway, Chen Yi's motto is, if you can do it in one day, you won't procrastinate. However, everyone around him was frightened, and several people were instantly reduced to ashes. This was too scary and terrifying. Chen Yi, you don't need to kill anyone. 
Xiao Rongyu said with a bit of a holy mother's heart. Xiao Rongyu thought it was enough to teach him a lesson and there was no need to kill him. If we don't kill them, then other women will encounter them in the future. If they are taken to the wilderness without the power to restrain a chicken, what do you think it will be like to wait for this woman? Chen Yi said. I understand. Xiao Rongyu nodded, understanding what Chen Yi meant. Rong Yu, I also want to give you a gift, so that even if we are separated, you will still remember me. What gift? This, Chen Yi said, taking out a beautiful and exquisite bracelet from the system space. It was a hundred times more beautiful than any bracelet in any jewelry store in the capital. It's so beautiful. I like it so much. Xiao Rong Yu got the bracelet and put it on happily and said. I kept looking at the bracelet, and my mood became even more beautiful. At this time, the system reminded again. Reminder of increased favorability. It has climbed to 82, and Xiao Rong Yu's favorability has reached 82. Rong Yu, can you give me a hug? Chen Yi asked. I, Xiao Rong Yu blushed and didn't know what to do for a while. Seeing Xiao Rong Yu like this, Chen Yi naturally took the initiative. At this time, if you don't take action, then when will you take action? Then Chen Yi hugged Xiao Rong Yu domineeringly. Xiao Rong Yu's heartbeat accelerated and he was at a loss. At the same time, many nascent souls and gods came here very quickly. Hit the small ones, come the old ones, the classic ones. There should be a reward for killing him. Chen Yi said secretly. Chen Yi, someone is here. Xiao Rong Yu said, if you dare to take action, you will be killed. If you dare to question, you will be killed. Chen Yi said. Are you always so domineering and decisive in killing? I like to kill decisively, so it's better to be more decisive in killing. Oh oh, who are you? Why do you want to kill people from my Lin family? At this time, the three transformed gods came to Chen Yi and said angrily. Death. After Chen Yi finished speaking, he came to the three of them in an instant and sealed his throat with a sword. None of the three people could clearly see Chen Yi's move, and they had already fallen. Run away. The remaining people flew away with their swords one by one, and no one dared to get even close. In the blink of an eye, there was no one within a few hundred meters of Chen Yi. Everyone was afraid of Chen Yi, and his transformed spirit was trash. Ding, kill three enemies who have transformed into gods, and you will be rewarded with a bottle of sixth grade Qingxin pill. Qingxin Dan, it seems good to help others get rid of their inner demons. Chen Yi said secretly, it would be good if there is a reward. It stopped. Xiao Rong Yu said, I feel really bad about being disturbed. How about we go for a walk in the Tianwo Mountains? Okay. Xiao Rong Yu nodded. If he goes to the Tianwo Mountains, he doesn't need to wear a mask. Let's go. Chen Yi jumped into the sky and left here. Xiao Rong Yu also immediately rose into the sky and disappeared. No one dared to stop them along the way, not even the forces of the city lord's palace, who could only watch the two people leave. After a few minutes, the two of them were walking in the Tianwo mountain range. No mask on either. Chen Yi grabbed Xiao Rongyu's hand at this time. Xiao Rongyu immediately became shy. Rongyu, can I kiss you? Chen Yi asked. It's too fast, Xiao Rongyu said with his head lowered. Chen Yike didn't care about that much and immediately banged Xiao Rongyu on the wall. The two looked at each other, and Xiao Rongyu quickly lowered his head. Chen Yi held his chin, raised it for a moment, and kissed him. Xiao Rongyu was extremely nervous and finally closed her eyes. She didn't hate Chen Yi at all and accepted it happily. Ding, I got my first kiss from the daughter of luck, and I will be rewarded with a pair of top-grade spiritual weapons, Ghost King boots. High-grade spiritual weapons correspond to Mahayana, transcending tribulations, and use. It's so awesome to be rewarded for this first kiss, so what if it was like that? Did it take off on the spot? Chen Yi said in shock. At the same time, Xiao Rongyu's favorability level climbed to 85, and this rate of increase was not bad. Moreover, due to the influence of the love bracelet, Xiao Rongyu will fall in love with Chen Yi more and more. Three minutes later. Both of them moved away reluctantly. Chen Yi said seriously. Rong Yu, you are so beautiful. You are the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. I like you more and more. Rogue, Xiao Rong Yu said, hugging Chen Yi and feeling extremely happy because she didn't like dull men either. Rong Yu, when do you want to go back to Yaochi Holy Land? Tomorrow morning, 
The Holy Lord will be unhappy because I can't leave for too long. Is your Holy Master a male or a female? Of course she is the most beautiful woman in the world. She is more beautiful than me. What a pity, I like women. This, Xiao Rongyu was a little confused, how did Chen Yi know? In other words, very few people know about this matter. Rong Yu, can I go a little further? I can't bear to leave you, or in other words, I want to leave good memories. Chen Yi said again. No, it's too fast. I don't like it, Xiao Rong Yu said seriously. She didn't want to go too fast. It was too fast and she felt like a casual person. But if you go back to Yaochi Holy Land, if the Holy Lord does anything to you, are you still innocent? Although Chen Yi doesn't mind what they do, one day he even asks me if I can sleep in the middle. Chen Yi cares if he is the first. I, Xiao Rongyu's mood changed. She also had this worry. After Xiao Rongyu came into contact with Chen Yi, he slowly felt what he wanted, and his inner demons were relieved a lot. Forget it, maybe I'm asking too much and can't compare to the Holy Master, so I won't ask for anything more. Chen Yi took retreat as an opportunity to advance. No, no, it's my fault Chen Yi, I promise you. Xiao Rongyu hugged Chen Yi tightly and said. She felt that she could work hard for love, and in this way, her future might be smooth. Breaking through the Mahayana, or even transcending tribulations, the Holy Lord cannot control his own destiny. The most important thing was that she thought the first one was Chen Yi, who was definitely not a Holy Lord. When she thought of the Holy Lord, she felt sick. Really? Chen Yi asked curiously, Really, I am willing. If it were you, I would be willing. Xiao Rongyu said with firm eyes. Then if you lose your Yuan Yin, will the Holy Lord find out? It shouldn't be possible. My physique is quite special. Even if I lose it, I won't be discovered. Xiao Rongyu explained. That's great, I'm so happy. Chen Yi said and kissed her. Xiao Rongyu was very nervous and grabbed Chen Yi's clothes. A minute later, Chen Yi said, how about we find a nice place? Okay, it's best to be in a nearby cave. I like a place with no people and no one to disturb me. Okay, Chen Yi said, picked up Xiao Rongyu and left here. Next, the two came to a cave. Chen Yi placed restrictions. Then, four hours later, Chen Yi felt that his life was really worth it. He deserved to be Xiao Rongyu with a score of 98 and Xiao Rongyu with a special physique. He was absolutely, absolutely brilliant. At this time, the system also sent a reminder. And it's also a critical hit reminder. Because of the special physique, extra critical strikes are added. Ding, the critical hit reward is triggered. Congratulations to the host for obtaining all the cultivation levels of Xiao Rongyu, the daughter of luck. Ding, the critical hit reward is triggered. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the best spiritual weapon, the crazy thunder sword. Ding, the critical hit reward is triggered. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the space god body. Next, Chen Yi's cultivation level began to increase, his mental power increased, and his physical body increased. Final, cultivation has reached half-step perfection. The physical body is also fully integrated in half a step, and so is the spiritual power. There has been a qualitative leap in strength. Chen Yi felt that he was actually not far away from breaking through to the realm of integration. For example, if we meet Xiao Rongyu a few more times, or if we refine Xiao Rongyu and give it to Ancestor Qingsheng, we might be able to achieve a breakthrough. Although there is no breakthrough, with my strength, no one under the Mahayana should be my opponent. It is not impossible to even compete with the early Mahayana, Chen Yi said confidently. The strength of a 19-year-old in the early stage of Mahayana is unparalleled. Then Chen Yi's physique changed again, and he gained an additional physique, the Space Divine Body. Chen Yi felt that his understanding of space had improved by leaps and bounds. Moreover, the Space Divine Body can increase Chen Yi's speed five times. If the realm is improved, the Space Divine Body's speed will be even more terrifying. Although the Space God Body cannot increase combat effectiveness, it can increase speed. The speed is unparalleled, and the strength is naturally no small matter. It can be said that it improves combat effectiveness in disguised form. And with the awakening of the space god body, Chen Yi read a talent, that is, by burning life, the space god body can explode at an even faster speed, 10 times, 20 times, or even more. This may be a life-saving method in the future. Chen Yi said secretly. 
Xiao Rongyu also benefited from Chen Yi's pure Yang holy body. His inner demon disappeared and his aura increased steadily. Seize the opportunity to break through the Mahayana. Xiao Rongyu took out the Chenkin good fortune pill without hesitation and swallowed it in one gulp. Chen Yi did not disturb him and isolated Xiao Rongyu with his mental strength. Then Chen Yi had a thought and appeared the best spiritual weapon, the Crazy Thunder Sword. The Crazy Thunder Sword exudes a powerful sword intent. Chen Yi looked excited, as if he would enter an epiphany if he recognized his master. At this moment, Chen Yi did not hesitate and confessed his master with blood. Next, Chen Yi shed blood and successfully recognized his master. Chen Yi entered an epiphany. With a mysterious and profound enlightenment, the sword intent climbed up and rushed to the sixth level of the sword intent. An hour later, Chen Yi opened his eyes, and his sword intention reached the sixth level of sword intention. At this moment, Chen Yi Jun was confident that his strength had reached the early stage of Mahayana, absolute early stage strength of Mahayana. In every aspect, he was defiant and made up for the gap in strength. If you get immortal weapons, more terrifying martial arts, and a more powerful physique, maybe it's not impossible to transcend three realms. Chen Yi said confidently. Try it and see what the sword intention is like. Chen Yi said, condensing the sixth level of sword intention and turning it into a small sword. The small sword stabbed out. Then, a huge boulder was cut like tofu. The sixth level of sword intent is ridiculously strong. Forget it, let's not estimate the strength. It won't take long. After breaking through the integration, I don't know what level of strength I will be. Anyway, I will be invincible. After Chen Yi finished speaking, he rose into the air and left at a high speed. Very quickly, Chen Yi came to Ancestor Qingsheng. Ancestor Qingsheng obediently took out the space ring, which was also a resource given to him by Xiao Rongyu. After Chen Yi got it, he disappeared immediately. Soon we returned to the cave. Chen Yi sat down and absorbed resources like crazy. However, after absorbing it completely, there was still no breakthrough to the state of integration. Chen Yi was unwilling to give in, took out a Chenkin good fortune pill and ate it directly. An hour later, Chen Yi's cultivation also increased slowly, breaking through to the early stage of integration. The mental power, physical body, and realm have all reached the early stage of integration. Breaking through the integration, Chen Yi felt that his understanding of the world and everything had improved. It's like everything is under control. Fusion is also the fusion of nascent soul and refining the void, forming a perfect state. Not only has life improved, but all aspects have improved. Moreover, he has also gained a preliminary understanding of the laws of heaven and earth, and can draw on the power of the laws of heaven and earth. There is also the influence of the Chenkin good fortune pill. Chen Yi has benefited a lot now and is becoming more and more defiant in all aspects. Maybe it can be done to kill the late Mahayana warriors. Chen Yi said confidently. With my strength, I can participate in the Baiyuan competition and the food abuse game. Chen Yi said, releasing the mental power restriction. At this moment, Xiao Rongyu also broke through and reached the Mahayana realm. Mahayana, a higher level realm than integration. At this moment, Xiao Rongyu felt that everything was under control. Husband, I have broken through to the Mahayana realm. My realm and age, even in the Yaochi Holy Land, are very unparalleled. Xiao Rongyu ran over excitedly and hugged Chen Yi and said. Chen Yi touched Xiao Rongyu's head and said, Congratulations. In this way, you may be able to get rid of the Holy Lord's requirements. Don't worry, after I break through the Mahayana, I will have a chance to practice. The Holy Lord can't do anything to me in a short time. I will definitely break through to a more powerful state and control my own destiny. I believe in you, and I will rely on you to protect my husband from now on. Of course, my husband satisfies me in every aspect. How could I not protect such an excellent husband like you? That's good, Chen Yi said, pinching Xiao Rongyu's cheek, feeling very satisfied. Husband, after I broke through the Mahayana, I feel that I can do many things, such as giving you enlightenment and helping you break through the void. No need, this kind of help for me to break through will not make my strength much stronger, and the enlightenment will hurt you too much, you should just practice hard. Okay then, but husband, I think about it. Have you recovered? Well, no match. Chen Yi's cultivation level has reached the early and middle stages of integration, and has improved a little. 
Xiao Rongyu has made no progress, and there is nothing he can do. Chen Yi's realm is just a combination, which can't help Mahayana. This is for you. Xiao Rongyu immediately took out the mother-in-law sound transmission stone. Understood. Chen Yi took the sound transmission stone. He didn't have to worry about the distance in the future and could chat at any time. Remember to chat with me often. I'm afraid there's nothing we can do about this. I want to participate in the 100 Academy competition. The 100 Academy competition. The 100 Academy competition in Giant Spirit City. That's right. Someone from our Yauchi Holy Land may also attend. I will ask her to take care of you then. Wrong you. Aren't you afraid of her being like a sheep in a tiger's mouth? TCH, I'm the only one who was fooled by your sweet talk. Others are not that stupid. Wrong you, you are simply my angel. Chen Yi said happily. Ten minutes later, Xiao Rong Yu left. There is no way, Yao Qi Holy Land must go back. Chen Yi also had to participate in the 100 Academy competition and go to a bigger stage to meet more sons and daughters of luck and collect a wave of leaks. Chen Yi's life is very simple. He is accompanied by a beautiful woman and is invincible in the world. Thinking of this, Chen Yi also left in the air. Next Chen Yi returned to the Chen family. Chen Fan was reading in the study at this time. Chen Yi came here. Yer, why are you here? Chen Fan said in surprise. I'm going to participate in the 100 Academy competition, so I came to say hello to you. This is a good thing. Don't worry. It doesn't matter if you can't beat me. Dad will always support you. Take care first, then improve your strength and protect yourself before talking. Chen Yi was speechless, and Chen Fan was very worried. Chen Yi said, took out the Chenkin Good Fortune Pill and placed it in front of Chen Fan. Chenkin Good Fortune Pill, Chen Fan said in shock when he saw this pill. Dad, do you also know about the Chenkin Good Fortune Pill? Chen Yi was curious. Your father is not an idiot. He has read a lot and has never seen anything. Yes, then I'm leaving. Chen Yi said calmly. After all, Chen Yi is a person who has traveled through time, so it would be good if he has a clear conscience. Go for it. Dad, how about you leave Qingsheng capital anonymously? Chen Yi suggested. Chen Yi felt that the road ahead would definitely kill many children of luck and offend many people, so it was better to hide his weaknesses first. Don't worry, your dad is really not a waste, there is nothing to worry about. Chen Fan said confidently. Really, Chen Yi looked suspicious. Go ahead, really don't worry about me. Okay then, Chen Yi left here doubtfully. Chen Yi is actually a little suspicious of Chen Fan, maybe he really has some trump card. After Chen Yi left, Chen Fan sighed, I still embarked on this path. Perhaps, this is also the best result. Chen Fan said and continued to accompany his maid. Qingsheng Academy. Chen Yi came to Shanyu Peak. Returned to his attic. After Yi Yan and Zhao Xiao saw Chen Yi, they immediately stepped forward and said, Why did you leave for so long? Just doing some errands, there should be nothing else to do now. HMPH, let us worry about you. We will go wherever you go from now on. The two women said seriously. Don't be angry, these pills are for you. Chen Yi said, taking out two Tianshu pills and two Chenkin Good Fortune pills. Are these Tianshu pill and Chenkin Good Fortune pill? The two women said in shock. Good, then can we quickly break through the combined state? The two women said in surprise, as if the state was not that difficult. It should be faster. What do you mean? The two women were confused. Soon, Yi Yan's aura improved by leaps and bounds, reaching the middle stage of void refining, a terrifying breakthrough. Yi Yan looked at Chen Yi in shock and said, Husband, you have made so many breakthroughs. Isn't it bad to have many breakthroughs? Then I am invincible in the Baiyuan competition. Not necessarily. There are many geniuses and monsters, and it is possible for them to appear and refine themselves. Chen Yi thought of Wen Yuqi, the half-step fit Wen Yuqi. Oh, that's true. Yi Yan nodded. I'm going to find Xiao. Well, go ahead. Yi Yan nodded not minding at all. After meeting Xiao, we will set off for Juling City. Chen Yi said and came to Zhao Xiao's room. Zhao Xiao immediately ran over and hugged Chen Yi, looked up at Chen Yi and said, Rogue. After a long time, Chen Yi and Zhao Xiao came outside. Yi Yan also came to Chen Yi's side. She would go wherever Chen Yi went. I'm going to find Su Xiaonan, do you want to go? 
Then what happens after you find master? The two women asked. Look for Wen Yuchi again. Then what? Of course I'll come back and take you all out of the academy to the giant spirit city and get there in advance. That's good, let's go. The two women nodded. They were just meeting two women anyway, so they didn't mind. Wait for me. After Chen Yi finished speaking, he disappeared. In Su Xiaonan's attic, Chen Yi appeared instantly. Su Xiaonan said in surprise, Chen Yi, why are you here again? Master, I am about to leave the academy. I'm afraid it will be a long time before I can come back, so I came to say goodbye to you. What are you thinking about? Can't I go to Giant Spirit City with you? Ha, huh, Master is going too. Chen Yi was confused. That's right, Giant Spirit City is also my home. It's equivalent to me going home. Ah, Juling City is still your home. Chen Yi was even more surprised. There's a lot you don't know. Master, if I marry you, will I honor my ancestors? After all, you are from Juling City. If you want to marry me, you have to change your scumbag first. That's impossible, it's impossible to give up the entire forest for one tree, master. Then don't tell me this again, we can't do it anyway. I understand, master, I'll give this to you. Chen Yi said, taking out the Chenkin good fortune pill. Is this the 8th grade Chenkin creation pill? Su Xiaonan said in shock. Good, this gift is too expensive. I can only go back to the Su family in Giant Spirit City to gather resources for you. Su Xiaonan explained. Actually, no, I like you and I just want to give it to you, just to be nice to you. That won't work. If that's the case, I won't want it. Su Xiaonan said firmly. That's up to you, I just want you to break through the realm quickly. No, how could you possess the 8th grade Chenkin creation pill? Su Xiaonan said doubtfully. Master, do you think I will tell you? It seems so. Su Xiaonan nodded. In fact, she had never seen through Chen Yi from the beginning. Even now, she still can't see through him. At this time, Chen Yi curiously opened his weakness eye to check Su Xiaonan's weaknesses. Chen Yi really longs to have it, so naturally, the sooner he gets it, the better. After all, he is growing up now. Information also appeared at this time. Su Xiaonan's weakness. The halo that was framed and taken away, I hope to return to the Immortal Academy and become a saint. I like geniuses and strong people, especially geniuses and strong people. I think this is the only way to be worthy of her. There are dependencies. After Chen Yi finished checking, his heart beat faster and he caught something. Su Xiaonan is dependent. No wonder her favorability keeps rising when she is good to her. For example, now, her favorability has reached 90. This kind of favorability is extremely high. 95 really fell in love with Chen Yi, and 90 already liked him very much. It can be said that if Chen Yi had been single-minded, he would have probably won. The second point is a genius. Isn't that me? If I show my combined cultivation, my 19-year-old combined cultivation, will Su Xiaonan fall in love with me? The last point is the first point. It seems that the master used to be from the Immortal Academy and was framed. It seems that it is necessary for me to help the master solve everything. Chen Yi said secretly. But master, I can tell you a piece of information. What information? I'm very strong, very strong. Chen Yi said seriously. Really? Su Xiaonan looked surprised. If Chen Yi was very powerful, he could really sacrifice himself. For such a man, it was not impossible. Just like a national goddess who is alluring the country, you are a scumbag, but if I give you a lot of money and make you famous and wealthy, are you willing? The special Chen Yi directly said that being ugly is not a problem. Man is still a creature that weighs pros and cons. Why did you lie to me? I believe you. Su Xiaonan nodded, she believed it very much. So master, I can't be any worse than me. If you can become the first in the 100 academy competition, I will do it. Su Xiaonan said seriously. Are you sure? Chen Yi looked surprised. After all, it was too easy for him to become number one. That's natural. I, Su Xiaonan, will not lie to others. That's good, I remember, it's just first place, I have to win. Then we will no longer be masters and disciples. Anyway, you were not particularly willing at first. You were just looking for a refuge. This doesn't work. Without this level of identity, it would feel almost meaningless.
Su Xiaonan's head was covered with black lines. Bear me down, master. Chen Yi disappeared immediately. Chen Yi, you fool. Su Xiaonan roared. However, the disciples of Shan Yu Peak were shocked. Why did Su Xiaonan lose his temper suddenly? But when everyone saw Chen Yi leaving triumphantly, there were black lines on his head. He didn't know how to do it. Could it be that even Su Xiaonan? Other side, Chen Yi quickly arrived at Wen Yuqi's attic, but the attic was blocked and could not be entered. Wen Yuqi, can we meet? Chen Yi said. The next second, the ban opened a hole. Chen Yi also walked in. The disciples of Tianxiang Peak looked confused. What's going on? Wen Yuqi is such a beautiful goddess. Why did Chen Yi open the ban when he came to see her? Why is Chen Yi loved by everyone? Where am I missing? Strength, that's fine. Everyone worked on their own. After all, Chen Yi was indeed very powerful. What do you want from me? Wen Yuqi came to Chen Yi and said curiously. Wen Yuqi is wearing a white short skirt today. She has a beautiful face, long legs, and a great figure. The combination of everything is really amazing, top notch. You are from the Phoenix clan and also from the Demon clan, right? Chen Yi said. How do you know? Wen Yuqi said with an ugly face and rising murderous intent. After all, the Demon clan and the Human clan are at odds with each other. Once her identity is revealed in various battles, it will be a disaster. Because my master saw it. My master is an immortal who has transcended tribulations. Chen Yi explained. What? You are such a master. How else would I know and how could I be so powerful? Chen Yi said, exuding a breath of refining. 19-year-old Lian Shu. I believe it. Wen Yuqi affirmed. At this moment, she had to believe it. I want to make a deal, what do you think? Chen Yi said. What deal? It's very simple. First, I help you break through a very terrifying state. How about you becoming my Taoist companion and never betraying that kind of Taoist companion? No, you still have to help me take revenge. Wen Yuqi said again. Wen Yuqi felt that Chen Yi's master was an immortal, so he could definitely help him get revenge. Master can't possibly help you, but if it were me, I could help you get revenge in up to three years. Can you kill and cross the tribulation in three years? I am a 19-year-old Lianshu, what else do you think is impossible? I understand, I believe you, then I am willing. Wen Yuqi affirmed. Wen Yuqi didn't want the people of the evil Phoenix clan to live too long. Then I'll give you my first gift. Chen Yi said and took out a pill, the Chenkin Good Fortune Pill. This is the 8th grade Chenkin creation pill. I broke through the body and relaxed easily. Wen Yuqi said in shock. That's right, it's the Chenkin Good Fortune Pill. Husband, Wen Yuqi said excitedly at this moment. Wen Yuqi's favorability level also climbed to 80. Wen Yuqi has two weaknesses. The first is to destroy the evil Phoenix clan, and the second is to do whatever it takes to break through his strength. Now that Chen Yi has figured it out, his favorability has naturally skyrocketed. Chen Yi said softly, After you break through the realm of integration, I will find ways to help you break through even more. Thank you, husband. Wen Yuqi said happily, Let's go to Shan Yu Peak with me. Yes, husband. In this way, the two of them flew with their swords and arrived at Shan Yu Peak. Many disciples saw this scene and were completely dumbfounded. How could even Wen Yuqi be so close to Chen Yi? It's over, the goddess is gone. Hey, it's boring, I can only envy Chen Yi. The last hope is gone. In the next life, please let me become Chen Yi. When everyone was talking about it, Wen Yuqi and Chen Yi came to Shan Yu Peak. How did this guy get Wen Yuqi to agree? Su Xiaonan was very confused and puzzled. Inside Chen Yi's attic, the two girls were a little confused when they saw Wen Yuqi and Chen Yi interlocking their fingers. The two women wiped their eyes hard, but they still felt incredible. Wen Yuqi is a 98-point goddess, flawless. Moreover, Chen Yi and Wen Yuqi have only been together for less than an hour. Hello sisters, I am sister Wen Yuqi. Wen Yuqi said in a very gentle voice. Just like the voice of a gentle sister. I am a younger sister because I am 19 years old. Zhao Xiao said. No, first come, first served, so you are all sisters. Two girls. But Wen Yuqi, why did you agree to Chen Yi? Zhao Xiao asked curiously. Because I like Chen Yi and think he is very charming and likable. Wen Yuqi explained. That's it. Yi Yan didn't believe it. 
Of course, that's it. Husband, what's going on? Zhao Xiao asked Chen Yi. I was also puzzled. After I came to Wen Yuqi's attic, she praised me for being handsome, charming, and suave. I thought she should like me, so I confessed my love to her, and she agreed. Ah, that's it. Zhao Xiao felt so incredible, how could it be possible? It's all love. I don't believe it. Zhao Xiao affirmed. Yi Yan also nodded, not believing it anyway. Let's go. It's time to go to Giant Spirit City. But the dean hasn't announced his intention to go to Giant Spirit City yet. He's announcing it now. When Chen Yi finished speaking, the dean rose into the sky and came to the sky above Qingsheng Academy and said, the first ten disciples gathered to set off for Giant Spirit City. Yes, then the top ten disciples, Chen Yi and four others, immediately came to the dean's side. At this time, a fifth-level flying monster flew out of the monster garden. It is a giant flying bird and the dean's mount. Without saying anything, everyone immediately came to the flying mount. At this time, Su Xiaonan also came here quickly and sat on the flying monster. Greetings to Peak Master Su Xiaonan. Everyone said respectfully. Neat Master. Zhao Xiao also said respectfully. At this moment, Su Xiaonan has also made a breakthrough and reached the peak realm of Shu Refining. Because of the Tianshu pill, she has made a lot of breakthroughs. No need to be polite, I'm just going to the giant spirit city on the way, so don't be nervous. Yes, everyone said and sat down one after another. Without saying a word, the dean controlled the giant bird to fly away from here. Juling City is 10,000 kilometers away from Qingsheng capital. According to the flying monster, it can fly 3 kilometers in one minute, and it takes about two and a half days to fly there. Everyone sat cross-legged and practiced, while Su Xiaonan set up mental power restrictions, and then took the Chenkin good fortune pill to break through. Zhao Xiao and Yi Yan are practicing martial arts and understanding the sword's intention. After all, their realm can be helped by Chen Yi. They don't need to practice hard, they can just lie down. Wen Yuqi also arranged to take the Chenkin good fortune pill with his mental power, hoping that he could break through the realm of integration in the next two days. Yi Xiaoman walked towards Chen Yi at this time, and then said respectfully, Yi Xiaoman has met senior brother Chen Yi. You are older than me. Chen Yi said, then they just want to call you senior brother. I'm not interested in you, or in other words, you can't even compare to Yi Yan, so I look down on you. Chen Yi said again, decisively refusing. Humph. Yi Xiaoman pouted and turned back. The others looked surprised. Yi Xiaoman was considered a beauty, so why did she refuse? Is it true that a well-fed man does not know a hungry man is hungry? Why don't you agree and find a chance to get it? Isn't Chen Yi that kind of scumbag? Everyone was secretly surprised. Zhao Xiao curiously sent a message. Husband, why don't you agree? Not as beautiful as Yi Yan, I can't even look down on your beauty. I'm not the kind of man that anyone can have. Yes, I can see it. Zhao Xiao nodded. After all, Su Xiaonan and Wen Yuqi are the best examples. But Chen Yi quickly noticed an aura. The location is on a mountain range a hundred kilometers away, with a total of three people. All in one color. A killer, or someone, Chen Yi said secretly. However, Chen Yi didn't panic at all and signaled the dean to deploy his mental power. The dean also immediately placed a mental power restriction, covering everyone. The disciples were confused and said, What are you doing, Master Dean? This is a way to hide it so that no one will notice it. Otherwise, it will be troublesome if we encounter a powerful fusion person. Oh wow, oh. no, where is Chen Yi? Everyone suddenly found that Chen Yi was missing. Chen Yi is powerful and can protect you, so there is no need to hide here. The dean explained again. Everyone still felt a little strange, but they couldn't put their finger on it. Zhao Xiao and Yi Yan were very worried, but after Chen Yi sent a message to them that they had strong protection, they had nothing to worry about. At the same time, the three of them arrived here very quickly. The dean stopped the giant bird and said doubtfully, Three seniors, why did you intercept us? You can get out, Chen Yi must die. Among the three, a young man in white said. Are you also the ones who killed the temple? Chen Yi was curious. Sorry, it's not. Then who are you? The dead don't need to know. After the three of them finished speaking, they took action at the same time. It seems that I can only let you say it myself. 
Chen Yi said, turning on the power of the space god body. The power of Ghost King Boots is activated. Chen Yi disappeared in an instant. It's like disappearing into thin air. The three of them were stunned. What happened? What level of strong men did they face? But the next second, Chen Yi came to a powerful fusion man, with the top grade spiritual weapon Mad Thunder Sword in his hand, and killed the opponent with one sword. The fused middle aged man was already dead before he could react. The remaining two powerful fusion men saw this scene, their bodies trembled, and they looked at Chen Yi with fear. They couldn't believe this scene. Chen Yi's strength was so unbelievable. Chen Yi must be less than 20 years old. Run away. The two of them immediately fled quickly. Suppression. Chen Yi exuded powerful Mahayana power. The two of them were immediately suppressed and unable to move. The huge gap in strength could easily suppress anyone. Sir, I was wrong. Please don't kill me. I can't see the mountains. I don't know how high the sky is. Please spare my life. The young man begged for mercy and was so scared that he peed. The fused middle-aged man had closed his eyes, knowing that he was going to die. The next second, Chen Yi came to the young man and beheaded him directly. This young man made Chen Yi very unhappy, and he would be very happy if he killed him. Get up, I won't kill you, Chen Yi said. Really, the middle-aged man opened his eyes with a look of surprise. But then you can't resist. Yes. Chen Yi didn't think much, and the puppet magic began to control the opponent. After a minute, the control was successful. If the puppet magic is successfully deployed, there is no possibility of betrayal. Meet the master, the middle-aged man said respectfully. May I have your name? Hao Jian, what kind of force are you from? People from the Poison King sect. Did Xu Tian join the Poison King sect? Yes, Xu Tian asked us to kill you. As expected. Chen Yi nodded, understanding something. If you go back to the Poison King sect now, you will only be half-lived. Chen Yi said and slapped Hao Jian away with his palm. Hao Jian flew dozens of meters away, spit out blood, and said with a pale face, Master, what do I need to do? Keep an eye on Xu Tian and tell me if you have anything. How can we contact you? Do you have the Mother Mother Sound Transmission Stone? There is a pair, Hao Jian said. Then give me one, and we will keep in touch through this from now on. Yes, master, Hao Jian said, taking out a sound transmission stone. Chen Yi put it away and said, you can go. Yes, master, Hao Jian said respectfully and disappeared in the air. The system also sent a reminder at this time. Ding, successfully killed two fused enemies, and the host will be rewarded with Divine Ice Slash. Note, after perfecting the practice of Divine Ice Slash, Cutting Mahayana is like chopping vegetables, and can even compete with the strong ones who have overcome the tribulation. Divine Ice Slash is also an upgraded version of Extreme Ice Slash. After hearing the introduction of the system, Chen Yi was in a good mood. It was another powerful martial skill and his strength could be improved again. Xu Tian, if the Poison King sect hadn't protected you, you would have died. Chen Yi said, returning to the giant flying bird. The Dean is also back. Keep going, Chen Yi said. Yes, master. After the dean said, he immediately let the giant bird fly forward. Chen Yi then began to practice divine ice slash. Chen Yi's talent was already incredible, but with the help of the Chenkin creation pill, his talent was even more terrifying. Then he practiced divine ice slash and became as powerful as breaking bamboo. In less than an hour, Chen Yi had reached the level of Xiaochang. Five hours later, Chen Yi reached great success in cultivation. After one day and one night, Chen Yi has reached the peak of his cultivation. Chen Yi sighed, this is the advantage of having incredible talent. Practicing any martial arts in just one day is enough. Although it has not reached perfection, it is enough. Chen Yi said and walked into the restriction. Because the dean has been paying attention to Chen Yi, if Chen Yi wanted to walk in, he would naturally be able to pass his restriction without any hindrance. Inside the ban, after everyone saw that Chen Yi was safe and sound, they felt relieved. Husband, what's going on? Zhao Xiao and Yi Yan immediately came to Chen Yi and asked. As for Wen Yuqi, she has been practicing within her own confinement, and I don't know if she has broken through to the realm of integration. But at this time, Wen Yuqi's restriction was opened. Wen Yuqi's aura has broken through and reached the middle stage of integration. 
I don't know if it's because of the daughter of luck, but I broke through and reached the middle stage of integration. Husband. Wen Yuqi also ran over to Chen Yi. Everyone really doesn't know what virtues and abilities Chen Yi has. Really, he is so enviable. Let's go out and talk. Chen Yi said and walked out to restrain. Next, Chen Yi arranged a mental power restriction alone. Husband, can you tell me what happened now? The three of them came together to kill me. I didn't die, but the three of them did. Chen Yi explained. Ah, why, who wants to kill my husband? Xu Tian. I see. The three women nodded. If it was Xu Tian, it would make sense. Don't worry, I'm more mysterious and powerful than he thought. It's not certain who will kill whom. Chen Yi said confidently. Yes, the three women nodded. Chen Yi has been so mysterious recently. It is true that the combination can't do anything to Chen Yi. I believe in my husband. When Yu Qi said happily, she was already in the state of integration. Zhao Xiao was speechless. She thought that after breaking through the half-step integration, she was on par with Wen Yuqi. Unexpectedly, Wen Yuqi had already broken through the integration, which was outrageous. That's awesome, Yi Yan said in shock. After all, Wen Yuqi is not very old. Okay, okay, very good. Aha, a reminder came from the system. Ding, congratulations to the host for gaining half the cultivation level of Wen Yuqi, the daughter of luck. Ding, congratulations to the host for getting the Sword Intent Upgrade card. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the body of a Divine Dragon. Note, the body of the Divine Dragon is the top body of the Demon Clan. Not only does it gain twice the defense power and twice the combat power, it also has absolute pressure on the Demon Clan, having the combat power of the Demon Clan fighting the host. The most important thing is, under the body of a divine dragon, benefiting Taoists. Next, Chen Yi absorbed half of Wen Yuqi's cultivation, but it was as if he had not absorbed it. After all, he had reached the state of integration. Then his physique began to change and he gained the body of a divine dragon. Chen Yi has also changed in many places. His appearance is getting more and more handsome, and it can be said that it is easy for people to fall in love with him just by looking at him. If a male god were to give him a score, Chen Yi would have scored at least 99 points, which is absolutely top-notch. 35, and he's become handsome. I don't even need to pursue this myself. Chen Yi said excitedly, feeling that being the daughter of luck seemed quite easy. The combat power and defense power have also been increased by two times. It can absolutely suppress monsters. The body of a divine dragon is awesome. After all, I am now a pure young holy body a killing holy body, a space divine body and a divine dragon body. Once all the physical bodies are activated in battle, my strength will be incalculable. Chen Yi was shocked and became more and more confident in his own strength. System, use the sword intent upgrade card to upgrade the sword intent. Ding, the use was successful. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the seventh level of sword intent. Next, Chen Yi's sword intention broke through from the 6th level to the 7th level. The sword intention was invincible. It felt like he could cut everything in the world easily, as if the sword intention was invincible. Even if I overcome the tribulation, I may not be able to cultivate to the 7th level of sword intent. My strength has reached a higher level. Chen Yi said excitedly. Husband, are you the legendary pure Yang holy body? Wen Yuqi said in surprise at this time. Yes. I am the pure Yang holy body, Chen Yi said with a smile. No wonder you helped me break through to the late stage of integration. Is this what you said about helping me break through? Wen Yuqi said happily. Of course, you are a saint of the Phoenix clan, and with the pure Yang holy body, that will be a blessing to you. He he he, my husband really didn't lie to me, I love you. Wen Yuqi said movedly, feeling as if he was getting closer and closer to revenge. Wen Yuqi's favorability level has also reached 93. After all, she has helped her achieve so many breakthroughs. Chen Yi's previous score was 28, which is even more impressive. I love you too. You are so beautiful and charming. I like you very much. If Yi Yan looks like Yi Fei and Zhao Xiao, then Wen Yuqi in front of her is similar to the Shying type. The key is to be gentle, considerate and considerate. Being positive is very important. No. Husband, why have you changed? Wen Yuqi suddenly discovered that Chen Yi had become handsome, and 28 had become 35. 
What happened? This is my benefit, Chen Yi explained. Oh, I understand. When Yu Qi nodded, she understood that Chen Yi was a pure Yang holy body, and he might have undergone strange changes after cooperating with some Yuanian. If Chen Yi knew that when Yu Qi thought this way, he could only say that his imagination was fine. Okay, you have a good rest, I'm going to help Xi Yao and Yi Yan. Yes, husband, when Yu Qi said with a smile, without any anger, and his favorability level reached 94 without knowing it. Chen Yi next came to Yi Yan and Zhao Xiao. You are so proud of the spring breeze, you big hooligan. Zhao Xiao said with a pout. Yu Qi has reached the late stage of integration, you can do whatever you want. Chen Yi said nonchalantly. No, I also want to break through the fusion. I can't be so far behind. Yi Yan immediately came to Chen Yi with a look of eagerness on her face. You guys talk, Zhao Xiao said and ran away. Chen Yi immediately placed restrictions. Next, Yi Yan was really positive and understood men too well. I don't know how long it took. Yi Yan has reached the late stage of refining the void and has made some progress. Yi Yan lamented that she really wanted to become a pure yin holy body and suddenly break through the realm of integration, but it was a pity. Chen Yi then helped Zhao Xiao. That's all. When everything calmed down, Zhao Xiao also successfully reached the early stage of integration and was worthy of being a pure yin holy body. Husband, I feel like there is no pressure in this competition. Zhao Xiao said. What if there is some incredible genius? Don't be afraid of that. My strength is even more incredible. Yes, Xiao is the strongest. Husband, what state are you in? Zhao Xiao asked curiously. I'll scare you to death if I say it, so I won't say it anymore. I know, you must still be a god, and I have merged into one. You must have low self-esteem and dare not say anything. You are so imaginative. Chen Yi was speechless. In fact, Chen Yi was not afraid of being known by his fellow Taoists. I'm afraid people talk too much. It is best to be low-key when going out. The more low-key a person is, the longer he or she will live. Don't worry, husband, I will protect you and no one can hurt you. Okay, okay, you protect me. He he he. But at this time, Chen Yi's mental power noticed a powerful aura heading towards this place at a very fast speed. The opponent is in the late stage of integration. Exudes a magical aura. Demon clan. Chen Yi said secretly. Thinking of this, Chen Yi left the restriction and came outside. Very quickly, the fusion of demons has arrived. Jia, 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 kill the human genius, and I see what hope you humans have. After the demon fusion strongman finished speaking, he rushed towards the dean in an instant, and killed the dean first. But the moment the demon fusion had just taken action, Chen Yi appeared strangely behind him. Before the demon fusion powerhouse had time to react, he was directly punched through his body. The demon fusion couldn't believe it and turned to look at Chen Yi. He didn't understand why Chen Yi, a piece of garbage with the aura of a god, was so powerful. This is fishing law enforcement. I was fooled. The next second, Chen Yi pinched the opponent's neck and came to the giant flying bird. Kill or chop into pieces as you wish. The demon fusion said nonchalantly. Why did the demons attack people like us? Did the demons arrange a lot of people to hunt down people from Baiyuan? Of course I will kill you, the hope for the future. I understand, you can go and die. After Chen Yi finished speaking, he crushed the powerful demon and absorbed the power. The combined mosquito meat is also meat. The system also sent a reminder at this time. Ding, successfully killed the enemy at the peak of the integration, and will be rewarded with the 8th grade heavenly demon pill. Note, the 8th grade heavenly demon pill can help the demons merge to break through the realm faster, and it is also very helpful for the demons to reach the Mahayana realm. It's also useful for me. After all, I use the heaven swallowing demon technique to swallow energy, regardless of what the elixir is. Chen Yi said secretly. But Chen Yi is not in a hurry, the demon clan must have a saint. From now on, they will have to deal with their saints. Ding, it has been detected that many demons are assassinating human geniuses. A mission is issued to kill all the powerful demons and reward them with a level up. This is okay, Chen Yi said excitedly, and asked the dean to order the giant bird to stop. Chen Yi then deployed powerful forces to protect everyone. In the end, a perfect puppet appeared in his mind. Meet the master. 
the puppet said respectfully. Protect everyone. After Chen Yi said that, his mental power completely spread out, looking for the powerful demons. However, a screen appeared in the system at this time, with 37 red dots appearing on it. Chen Yi also got the system's information, which is the location of the powerful demon clan. System, you are so considerate, I love you. Chen Yi said, quickly killing the three powerful demons nearby. These three powerful demons had just killed a genius from the academy not long ago. The three beautiful women were trembling at this moment. The system also sent a reminder. Ding, the daughter of luck has been detected, would you like to bind it? Bind, ding, the queen of luck Jing was successfully bound. Name, Wang Jing. Age, 22. Height, 167. Weight, 52. Body, D+. Plus. Appearance value, 96 not fully awakening the appearance value. Favorability, 0. Identity, Saint of Spring and Autumn Academy, Reincarnation of the Immortal King not awakened. Cultivation, Golden Elixir Perfection. What the hell, the Immortal King is reincarnated. Chen Yi was dumbfounded, he could encounter such a thing. With my luck, the hero is destined to save the beauty and win. Chen Yi said excitedly, and in an instant he came behind the three powerful demon. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.